Salon people and then party them. There, the media will be bringing you a variety of programs ranging from documentaries to discussions, interviews, news, views, sports, and entertainment. <laughs> Our programs will contain matters on development, governance, the economy, and issues that are of importance to Sierra Leone. So, not left BNO because we get Bebebe program then like salon discussion, meets the ministers, the president's hour, and the Gladi Gladi program, Look Me, I Look You. All this, they start soon now www.sarajemmedia.org. Now, who's term this? Hill Valley Academy is a school that provides the very best opportunities for our students to develop, grow and mature into young adults who are encouraged to become patriots as well as global citizens. We have high expectations and ambitions for all our students. We provide a caring, supportive, tolerant and challenging environment in which all individuals can grow and flourish. A graduate of Hill Valley Academy is a well-rounded human being capable of making the most of what life has to offer. We actively encourage academic excellence with a sense of responsibility. We look forward to welcoming you to our school and to meeting you in the not too distant future because together we achieve the extraordinary. I was here as a student. And of course, Charlie was my teacher. I've asked him to join me on the journey to create a major new play, to offer hope to our people. And this is big, man. This has great magnitude. We are nowhere near what's in Uwa for day. Want this thing for succeed, Koji. This place is fairly dying. Is this a curse or what? These are the things that have wrecked this country. We need more movies in the world. We're going to need to play to get a Hello, my name is Josephine Kamara. I'm the founder of You Can Do It Foundation. You Can Do It Foundation is a charitable organization based in Sierra Leone, West Africa. You Can Do It Foundation has been in existence for the past two years. We have been fighting gender-based violence against women and girls within the community. During the past two years, we have been offering psychosocial support, counseling, court fee, medical fee, including school items to the survivors of gender-based violence. However, during the lockdown of COVID-19, report received and confirmed that rape cases among a minor has increased tremendously within our community. Because of this, You Can Do It Foundation has secured the land to build an accommodation for the survivors of rape. However, this may almost become impossible without your generous support we need your help to build this home for the survivors. Your help could be in cash or in kind. If you wish to join us to make a difference in a child's life, please go to our website, which is www.youcandoitcyf.org. Or you can go to our GoFundMe page, which is Home of Hope for the Survivors of Gender base or you can contact us with the details at the end of this video we thank you greatly for your generous support and thank you once more for making a difference in a child's life Oh my God. 
Hello, hello, Fambulem. On a good afternoon, good evening, good morning, and good night, depending on whose parts now the dunya we find yourself. Welcome to CIJ Media. We meet with program. Today, today, now a special, special program where we bring to now me on our host and moderator na Juma Ba, and I get my co host Sylvester T Boy Duba, and of course, with technical man Femi Pama. We want for welcome on our all. If new now we platform, uh, we hope see you get a good time with me. You will bring your own ideas, you know, you will contribute into the conversation, the discussion, and your questions them as well. And your suggestions are highly welcome. And uh, so we regulars and everybody, we say welcome, welcome. And thank you so much because without you now, we not get program. I will say um, it is part of... Um, in as much as we didn't do this, but today we'll say again our anniversary day when we begin to regular back to back programs online. Now, uh, uh, um, you know, now the CIG media platforms them both on Facebook, YouTube, and the website, and of course on the different WhatsApp uh, groups and platforms. Them we started our conversation here, uh, was it two years or three years ago, with a question if you're giving X amount of dollars what will you do with that money within a one or two things that we go do we hear a lot of conversations and all that so that marked um you know we online regular and back-to-back programs then since covid so we day at today again independence we they can discuss but today is more of a reflection say alone at 61 we they reflect usa we don't come out and usa we they right now and also we get for go and see if they are alone, really, really, really ready. But forget this conversation. We get guests them for now. We will help we but we'll introduce them soon. Now go back to T Boy. T Boy, welcome and happy independence um, celebration to you. What's in happy yeah. about the independence and what will you celebrate? Well, <laughs> not any we don't wish you now. So <laughs> somebody you don't wish me. We wish me happy independence this evening. Sir. And I say, what's he happy about the independence? He said, no, T boy. Okay, happy long life that you did. I said, ah, now you don't begin to talk. Thank you for wishing yeah. me happy long life to see the 61st mm-hmm. independence anniversary of Civil Union. Yeah. Our yeah. for welcome, we view them on Facebook and YouTube. And definitely, I want to say welcome to another edition of Theodian Media Live today as we can discuss a lot of stuff than we get for do with the 61st independence anniversary of civil union so we actually they come for talk about reflecting seeing what has happened what has changed what hasn't changed how far we've come like you clearly stated we also they celebrate three years today of being live on online and i feel that very important well, on, on our back-to-back programs. on our back-to-back programs yes back the big debates the yeah. big debates and how they go they go inside the republic That's the correct. culture show the That's health good. show and That's all good. the other special programs that we don't bring to now, That's including good. with community interest programs for cover weddings, funerals, you know, different things them as giving back to our community. Yes, I totally agree. I'll take it back here. This is now the third year now we celebrate back to back of Sergeant Media live on Facebook, YouTube, and we and we website. But let like me clearly say, um, we started off with this with a question. If you've been giving X amount of million dollars, it was yeah, it was about million dollars. What what one would you do with it? Do, yeah, to change Sierra Leone. Change Sierra Leone. Now it's three years back since we started that question, and we have seen a lot that has happened over the past three years of how many millions and billions of leons has been given to responsible ministers, responsible. President, responsible head of prostitutes, and responsible civil servants. We asked the question three years ago, the money wasn't available. Three years back, the money has been available and been allocated to all the various different heads of prostitutes and ministries and different things that we get government um, um, attachments to. What have they used the money for? Mm. Okay. That's the question. Mm. Well, thank you so much. And um, before we introduce, we guess them, we go, um, you know, look at the ch- 
at Tibor and see, you know, one they will give shout out to. We take them time for join with today. And uh, let us say hello to them and the invisible viewers them as well. We the not the platform. Well, now you know you for calling names them. So I think say if a single one of them calling name, they would right. yeah, So right I, now, for me on, on, on YouTube, it's just the same usual. People don't really come out that much. Uh huh. Now invisible viewers that we get. Now yeah. when the Tinder hit up, then we get um comments, right? Yes. Okay. So we get Emmanuel King. Um, we get Bobo Labo and uh, of course my very own Ramata Sheriff Jalo and uh, Maria Masise and Boko other people. Um, welcome and I uh, hope say una go we encourage you for contribute uh, to this conversation today as we reflect on the 61st independence anniversary. Um, let me introduce the guests. Um, I think on our first program, uh, one of the guests and us was part of that program, if I want to believe. Hi. Think so. Yeah, and, uh, yes. yeah, he was more on the education side. Yes, yes, I remember. So we get to tweet today, uh, forget it for discuss this issue. Two regulars then our platform, and of course, um, another view, uh, um, guest with the Sierra Leone, possibly the blackouts making not able for take part. Blackout, not too bad, my big please. Okay, well, I'll make that clear. So, possibly the blackout making able to take part or co internet connection. All right, but uh, hopefully, go we'll join we later. Um, Celia Boma, welcome, and Sequence Dumbia as well, welcome. So, we get we guest them with three Mr. Boy Jalo Jamboria, the foot of state, and of course, the big man himself, Yusuf Ujalo. Commonly known as the cow foot prince. So waiting at the two things they didn't get in common. And then, and then na, na, na the jalo, but one pan in no, one pan two, they, they get two jalo. things in common. They get two things in common. Yeah, they get jalo, yeah, yeah, they get jalo, and they get food. <laughs> food yeah, of food state, of states and cow foot and prince. Cow foot prince. <laughs> but they get one thing, they get only one thing more they're not getting common. Ah, uh, which is <laughs> one thing you suffer from post traumatic stress was in your No, post post traumatic syndrome. Traumatic syndrome. Yeah. The other one, the other one, you know, you suffer from what thing? Look who formed that new one. You know, you suffer from because none of it. Um. Go over, over to the lovely guest. And I will think about Amakawi. So, uh, welcome, mm -hmm. Mr. Boy Jalo Jamboya and um, Yusuf Jalo. We want to follow on a tell Fambule Madu who goes first and um, set the tone for today's conversation. So, who are the right foot? Cow foot or foot of state? So, foot of state. Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, the foot of state. No, the foot of state. The foot of state. The foot of state. Let like cow foot go first. <laughs> no, the foot of state. Cow foot has all area. The foot of state. The foot of state is a take all style. Okay. All right. Well, cow foot, please welcome. You don't say we, um, you know, we viewers then see you. <laughs> Welcome, you've been doing at the motherland. You don't go enjoy all the development. The motherland, you've been doing at the land. The motherland. Yeah. Okay. The land of every day. <laughs> well, you've been at the land, you don't enjoy everything. So, welcome, uh, tell Fambule Madu and set the tone for to this um, conversation, please. Um, yes, um, hello everybody. Una kushe, we am Piari Seke, Bua, Njara Mahtanala, Walibina, Una Kabo, um, Bichege. On a kushe all over us on a day na Sierra Leone. Um, today na, uh, you know, the day we Sierra Leone say we just don't get independence. But, um, you know, today I want for really take a much more s um, sober tone um, in addressing um, this topic of independence in Sierra Leone. We really get for understand this. And this is the tone I want for set today as we look at this. In 1961, when Sierra Leone finally gets independence from Britain, Sierra Leone gets $300 million of foreign reserve. Make a repeat for the one that we know that's the way they talk here. Yeah. So Zimbabwe dollars or United States dollars? Un <laughs> United States dollars. Three. Hundred million United States dollars in foreign reserve, 1961, when we get independence. Now, 
So say some somebody don't understand what I mean by is that video start like a season say you day you know you didn't you 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 savings bank bank account when you don't say this way you put money you know the touch her you did forget about that they put and they but you forget you go the add no more to her when you pull day say I'll only get that 1961 300 million anyway for concern the population of Sierra Leone at that time now been barely one 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 point five or so million there about two point five Sorry? 2.3 million. At 1961? Yeah. Fine. So let me consider, say, at that time, the population so small, <clears throat> with that kind of foreign reserve will we get. On top of that, Sierra Leone also been the get budget surplus at that time. So forget about the reserve, but even we don't pass pass down, we still get surplus again with the left party. I tell you, say we don't, we don't, you don't spend all the money we months done done. You don't spend money. You still get extra money we left at the end of you pay. So yeah. now we can done to so me and you. Um, then give you money for going to Dove Court, for go buy buy for can cook. You buy beef, you buy fish, you buy all the dishes, great and small. You buy your pepper and everything, then you still can't change now. You still can't change. That's okay. exactly it. So say alone, we could don't pay all man done. All we expenses though, we still get change left. Now, I remember we'll be small, small during Independence Day, like I saw, and Christmas time, the government they take from that surplus they work in all left now. So now they then go spend for we celebrate independence. We'll be small as picking and go buy with them toys there, then go can add more Tom Barrick who say me grow up, then go put different activities then they national dance troupe who can perform for we will go enjoy that. Picking and the school feeding. Yes, school feeding, picking and they get match pass. All Every the year they be they get cup and plates, we get the country flag. Yes, right. So I want me one for start from that angle for say waiting happen from then to now. How come we day at this stage? Now, of course, when I know for say me always they look at culture, um, because that's not my own strength and my own forte dandy. But I want for look at how culture can be supposed for the play a major part in with development but how the neglect of we culture probably don't lead we to the point outside we did like it today we first we need export rest but now we know the export the import will the import case not enough on itself right now so i want to look at this from a more sober angle today now that they made it that i made it come up from today Wonderful. Thank you so much uh, for setting that background and give us something for think about. And as we state, we say today na a day for let we reflect on we 61st um, independence, um, you know, anniversary and see who's how we don't come out, who's how we day and who's how we go. So let we go over to the um, foot of states. Mr. Boy Jalo Jayamboya, all the way from Norway, for let he come, you know, tell Fambule Madu as well, and let he set the tone. And the good thing as well, he was one of the people we witnessed um, the independence celebration as a young man from Songo. So, in Kibu for you later. As a tell. small boy. Yeah, well, <laughs> as a small boy. I've been there six years plus. <laughs> right. So the only thing, the other other thing, where I want for let we take note of uh, before uh, Mr. Boy Jalo Jamboya, um, you know, say begin, begin um, making um, you know statements or submission. Now the three hundred million dollars at that time. Imagine what three hundred million dollars from that time waiting now almost money that today. So when I put that down and let we reflect on that. Over to you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Juma. Thank you, um, the crew. And thank you to my fuller brother. Today is 61 years of a country called Sierra Leone. I am not celebrating. I'm not going to make hypocrite. I am not celebrating because I'm not happy about the way my country is. 
I would love to have seen Sierra Leone day like how Norway Usa day day or better. Because I know as a geographer, a trained and professional geographer, we train also for be a professional teacher at the same time. I know see Sierra Leone they at a position in Africa, a location where if we will go school and university ready for making that place, it will be better than Dubai or any other place that they have. Because Sierra Leone in geographical location gave the chance for being the biggest export processing country in Africa. We get the largest natural arbor in Africa. We locate in a position where you can reach any of the major cities on the Atlantic within eight hours by air direct. Any of the major cities within Africa within six hours direct any of the major ports within the Atlantic region in 14 to 16 days by sea. Then, the port of Freetown can then build up in a take from Kisi, Texaco, Grassfield, take to the back of Prince of Wales School, so you get a police garage and hospital. That can be effectively the port of Freetown. We mean say, if we think of what we for do and do them correctly, we can transform the country in the next 15 years. But that notwithstanding, I want to go and wait in Yusuf talk because the root of all the problems, a day within that period, 1964 to 1967 and after, of course, problems be done day before we get independence. We then tell we what. The one then where we see and what we understand, what we able to talk about, now I address today. As Yusuf rightly say, we had a foreign reserve of that amount, but unfortunately that amount was not with us. It was in holding in the Bank of England. Okay? The Bank of Sierra Leone, the currency way been they run, it been getting value based on the pound sterling. Until at a point where politics come into the picture. When Sierra Leone decided to go as a republic. That was in 1971. Mm. And from that time, we begin to get problem with the British. Say by 75, 76, 77, this problem took another dimension. But still, we begin to get this reserve. Then came the school college strike where me be involved and because by then I was a student at Jala University, young, active, radical, and I'm still a radical. We felt we were doing the right thing, not knowing that we were being used by some covert force for destabilize the country so that they go get power. Well, of course, we negotiated. There was compromise here and there. They called for an election in 1977. One of the conditions will be put, and we demand them as students, was that the need for upgrade the caliber of the political class for me to get educated people in the cabinet. That was the first mistake we made. We had the first cabinet with PhD holders. Some of them still there in politics. From 1977 to 1982, Sierra Leone became bankrupt. Take the day now, they pass on. The one that we did, we did, yeah, we boy down on the top. If they have conscience, they should think. 
they should ask themselves, what have we done to a resource-rich country where all of us would have been better off? The right. destruction of Sierra Leone is with us, the educated class. And I will never be afraid to say that. At 67, I'm not looking to make new friends. Okay, thank you so I'm much for that. Like you say, you expand and for we, you talk about geography and all the things that we prepare Sierra Leone, we make, where God puts up a place called Sierra Leone for less Sierra Leone, for be one of the greatest nations on earth. But a lot of things don't go bad. Yusuf don't highlight. Let's go back to Yusuf. Um, let, let's go to the chat group a little bit and see. So the first thing here was a question, and it's a genuine question, which um, some of us are struggling with here as well. Uh, from Emmanuel King, we say, what is there to celebrate? So that's this question. And um, let me see another comment here. We, you know, take my attention. All right, so another question was, so when corruption really, really start in a salon? Celia's question. And then Jocelyn Williams, um, take a cue from you, Yusuf, and say $300 million reserve. What happened to all of that money? If we take time value of money in present day, it would be almost $200 billion. But today, we can't even afford to pay our teachers, nurses, and essential services. Cow footprints, I would withhold my happy from the independence. Congratulations, congratulations, <laughs> message. So you don't hear any comments then, they, you don't hear anything, and um, Boijalo Jambo yourself don't say, begin the develop from that CEO stone where you been there, where you set for it. All right. Um, couple of questions. Somebody just asked to say, what is there to celebrate? Um, I go categorically say there is something to celebrate. And um, there's something to celebrate. And we need for look back. Again, when we talk about soberness, we need for look back. I was, first of all, dismayed today to the point of disgust at the president in independence brag, um, which in my opinion was a total nonsense, all that he said. And um, uh, I just think it's, this speech was a total disregard for Sierra Leone as a nation yeah. on a day like this. So with seriousness, I did say that we do have stuff to celebrate, which should have been in our president's speech today, but it was not. But then I don't blame that because it has never been even within our curriculum and even within our cultural celebration, it's never been seen as the stuff to celebrate on a day like independence. So what I'm going to do is go a little bit back in answer to that question, let's go back. Let me look Sembe Pierre. Let me just take Sembe Pierre first. Let me check Sembe Pierre in story. That man then captured one old ship. He said, do or die. You didn't care we go back who say we come out. That's true independence. That's a man, Sierra Leonean. We Tawase, no oppressor, no go pull him from a land where he love, who say he enable tie. No oppressor, no the pull and they for no kukoyebe. No, or not under any circumstance. And he stood up with others, he inspired others for capture the ship. And the ship go all the way to America, go sit down and cut case. Then they day, and that cut case day, they win the court case for influence greatly for make slavery end. That's something that we must call on to celebrate because this is about independence. This is not about soberness. 
And because when we talk of independence, we talk about we sovereignty. We talk about self determination. Sembe Pierre demonstrated self determination. Kill me, or you will not enslave me. It's as simple as that. I will keep my resources, but you will not enslave me. Sembe Pierre prepared for die for Imporo, he prepared for die for Imatoma, he prepared for die for Imbundo, he prepared for die for Ingari, he prepared for die for Irunko, Sembe Pierre. He said, but when I go carry me, go back. That was a landmark case. That's one. Next, we can look at is, I know, okay, the most popular, we will say Baibure. When we begin to understand Baibure a little bit more, we begin to see a spirit of a man will prepare even for sacrifice himself just for protect a young people them. How many of we leaders that will we get today? We go even think about that. Now, to be a leader, no means say you can lord them over the people them. No, no. You a leader, you're a servant. In fact, when you examine we African culture properly, death penalty was never for the common, for the general masses. Death penalty was for the leaders. For prevent you make you not know, become despotic and corrupt. So one wrong footstep, then the in fact, the warrior the way it's not put the sword over your neck. Now you they kill yourself. On top of that, in Sierra Leone, for example, if then carry you go to Akanta, what do you go see in Akanta? Now you don't know for say what you come out the way huh? you better rule your people them properly. We need to understand this. So when we look at the case of somebody like a Bible, the story wouldn't tell we for say, oh, I've been just ordinary warrior, we don't know nothing. Totally different story to who the man really was. So let we understand that spirit of Kumra with somebody like a Bible didn't get. The spirit of Kumra. Or say Kumra fall not a jump fire in not a jump fire and protect him picking them. Right. Well, we own they not the jump the fire, all, but they push them picking them inside. They. So somebody like this again now one. The, there is a third person I want for bringing to the picture here in looking at people to celebrate when we talk of independence. And that is Lamina Sanko. Who was he? Why make a left in slave name? He take African name. He call himself Lamina Sanko. For me, Lamina Sanko show we the spirit of unity, the and identity, solidarity, identity. That Lamina Sanko choose for say this is my identity and they embrace him. And he faced a lot of resistance, but Lamina Sanko stood up. What do we know about him? Why are we not celebrating a man like this for independence? That, for me, marks a lot of waiting independence for me if we talk of waiting for celebrate, not for campaigning for boost on Boku Lai Lai on Independence Day. It's absolute, forgive me for putting this way, but an absolute crap. We are not stupid these days. <laughs> we all know for say likes not day. We all know for say water not day. We all know for say 15 Bowsers, not the supply for it all. Not to Bowsers we need. What thing we need the, is the, the 270 million when we go spend by airport. Why not spend that money there for put for put build dams for the water supply come inside the country? So now we're going to build dam. Are they come, sir? Are they come, sir? I just come. So now they go put airport. After you don't put the airport down, people they fly come inside. They don't see the fine airport. Next thing you do now, bogoro, 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 pan the road there. Then they come inside the country. You go inside, you say, water, water supply no day. And the rest, as we as we go say, it does not make any sense. So it's just priorities totally messed up. It's all about <clears throat> all of this. So for me, what we need for the look at if we talk of waiting day for celebrate Sierra Leoneans, we need to go back into history properly and begin to see those people who stood for us, who fought for us genuinely. Because there were those, uh, what, what, uh, what my friend Patrice will call, there were the Iagos as well, or there were the Brutuses as well, who were betraying 
these leaders, like many who have betrayed by those who oppose, uh, um, those who oppose uh, Lamina Sanko and so on. There are many people like this. So there are things to celebrate, but we need to really look with a sober mindset for to know what to celebrate. Now, the, the other question somebody asked was um, uh, about the 300, the 300 million, who said that money they don't go today? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I think uh, Migo, Migo say probably um, uh, Mr. Jamboria will probably answer that question They're much better than me. But may I look at it from the cultural angle? Now, I remember 1961, Ahmed Sekouture was touring around the world wherever he went, including the United Nations. He toured around with Bali African, which was yeah. the, the, the Guinea dance troupe. Mm-hmm. I also remember seeing um, the Sierra Leone National Dance Troupe around those same years performing at Trafalgar Square. They were a resident at Lomley. Right. So during those days, we had performers like Tiade, um, um, John Akar Jumbo. was the leader. Yes, John Akar was there. Now, when we look at that, um, we were at that point selling much of our culture. So people came to Sierra Leone to come and experience our culture. And when they come, they are coming to spend money. So money was coming into the country in that regard. Secondly, when you go to Lomli at that time, that Lomli Junction, to come all the way into the Lomli Beach, what you see all along that area were carved carvers, mm. beautiful, wonderful carvers who, yeah. who were there carving a lot of them. Yeah. You know, we wood them, craft plenty day. Now, so we think we've been get what that we get unique culture. We will be able for sell to the rest of the world, and they were selling. People were coming into the country and buying a lot of this stuff. So money was being turned, and then we begin to develop this taste, serious appetite, even to the point of addiction for foreign goods. The more we seek foreign culture, the more we means, it means we take away money for go spend them until we know to we they produce. Gradually, and that includes rice because we've been export rice from Sierra Leone. We've been feed myself with wheelers and exports. Even if, now you export rice, but people don't know. Yes, people don't know. So if you they, export rice from Gambia to, yes. to Guinea. Mm. Right. So eventually this appetite for Chinese rice and uh, white rice as there are some people go on for column. We begin one we've been called come out with them in call and sweet mother. Hey, that rest day. Where that they come say alone. Nobody know how for it of rest anymore. All so my not that I'm on that is a donny money. But well, well, well something <laughs> well something like that. Something like that. The appetite <laughs> for that sweet <laughs> Enough for them. Uh, you know, yeah. we, we have been to go school. We did it. We don't for been. We have been to go school. One, it's been the been make what they call and go bone. Mm. Go bone. Now that gari, they mix out cassada and then put sugar. But not to cassada, coconut. Then put the coconut and then mix out with the gari. Lord have mercy. Go bone. That's that they get five cents for go school for lunch. When you say I reach no more at the marketplace before they say money to for claim the truck for go school. <laughs> the five cents don't know and go bone. So what we were doing, and especially a lot of we leaders them at that time, every single money we them they get, mostly now for spend abroad to enjoy foreign cultures. That appetite just mushroomed in many different ways, whether it's the cars, whether it is, I even dare say, whether it is even the style of houses where we begin for build. Because those styles of houses demand materials that we were not manufacturing, which we should have been manufacturing. You see what I'm saying? So if we were manufacturing them because we have iron ore for steel, it meant that we go keep the money within we save. But we keep we kept going out. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not saying this that 
it only just relied on we but of course there there are there are external forces oh, also putting their own pressure there are no external forces sir all right well we, we, we can't so I'm it's time we stop something. blaming india had more external challenges okay i'm coming sir i'm i'm coming i'm coming to you sir now still the external forces bringing their own advertisements within Sierra Leone have much of their own influences over us that got us of course selling away we also got to think let me put this other very serious question on this someone somebody's asking where did they go i put this up on my facebook page today and i said specifically 1922 to 2022 100 years since we realize say diamond in Sierra Leone. Now, let me get this because this person, somebody challenged me on the Facebook page say no, it was in 1930 that they found. They started mining it. Exactly. That's my point. They started it was mining. discovered at Boajibu in 1922 by a Catholic priest. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That's exactly the point I made to the person. I said, they're not, they're not they just begin for mine, so there would have been many years. Mining of, started in 1930. Right. But they would have found that, hey, this thing they do, they don't tiff, tiff, but who force before they come here to say, hey. If I then this, then they, when you discover something and they carry and go to London for go test them, and I call call both the care and go. By the time it's in the left they reach London, it don't take six months. Right. Ahead, sir. Exactly. So this is what I was trying to explain to this somebody to say, uh-uh. Officially 1930, but before 1930, there was other things going on. Yeah. Now, 200 years, I'm sorry, 100 years, we now get one game corner shop where they cut or polish diamond. Why? We'll be get them. <laughs> that one will have to we'll be get them. It was in Freetown. Yes, mm. that's that's much like over. Then we they do them on cutting up to the late nineteen seventies, I think, or mid nineteen seventies. Right. I even get a friend we work the briefly, Isaac Smite. Yes, sir. Okay. Now today we're in a situation we say we don't get nothing. So somebody to ask him that question, we say all this money go. We get to understand the mindset. We begin forget what you call this blind imitation of foreign fashion. When that they don't see them inside we, no wonder. Now, I go I will say this last point before um Mr. Boy come, mm. come in, please. And that is for this kind of mindset for happen, we need for begin for question the education system. Because the education system, they program the mind. And that mind, they go only act, only wait till you don't perceive what you don't conceive, what you don't believe, now that it will act upon. And what has that been? Therefore, may the proposal, and they put a challenge on this one as well, that the biggest mind, I don't know if I could say this on your channel, but the biggest mind fuck that we had in Sierra Leone, we make three hundred million dollars. Kata finish. Pata pata. Is when we need for look into our education system, how it design. Why is it that the moment you ask any picking na school, na secondary school, na university, you ask them, where you do university? You say one go. What did he tell you? He called us. I want to go abroad. Wango was it? Including me. Everybody else we want to want to leave. We need to understand. Well, who's got education this bar? It's like I want to go back. Right. All right. So, yeah, we, we come to you. We yes, come to you. What, means, <laughs> what it means is that we have created an education system where na monkey walk babu eat. So we teachers then do the hard work for give you the basics. Then as we don't know more, so we come to other people country and can work for them. We give them with labor, we give them with talent, everything and pay taxes for them and so on. That is where, that's the kind of education system. And we need to question why it operates this way. How is it operating and how can we turn it around? Until we do that, we will still continue for spend with 300 million Pata pata na other people country like we've done the diamond. Now we are doing it with the human resources, which we picking them 
Titi them, Bobo them, we they run for going to Arab world and run going to Turkey. Wow. Thank you so much, Yusuf Jalo. You don't unpack a lot of things. And from one small question, you don't highlight a lot of things that we... Well, I mean, I think we ask. have gone off air. No, we're still, we're still on air. No, I'd rap side, I see. I possibly watching the different things, sir. Um, let me go to Mr. Boy Jalo Jamboya. Um, that same question, the way, um, you know, the person at the chat group asked, who side all that money they go? Then there's a follow up question, Yan, that we are see, and it gets for do with things them that you mentioned that things begin go wrong from, you know, where Sierra Leone become a republic. And uh, Celia highlighted, say, um, OAU gets a lot for contributes. For That's the biggest um, club we have been told. Right. So I will allow you for talk about that because I see you challenge um, Yusuf for, say, uh, we know for blame we situation on external factors. So over to you. Thank you very much. Um, Yusuf long opened a can of worms. But um, I have people them in that cultural way. Because the problem of Sierra Leone, as I always they say, is they with the intellectual class. Well, of course, at the tail end, it begins for point some of the root causes of why the intellectual class they behave the world and they behave so. The type of education world they get in Sierra Leone. I will begin from the rear, I come forward. Right enough, with education, they are not being tailored for a country we need development. It was tailored by the British for them to train priests, clerks, and administrators. And since we didn't give you independence, we not bother for change them. In fact, we they take joy and pride in what we inherit. We not the help we for develop. That is why today we don't reach side. We reach so people then they go all out for go get fake degree because it's all about academic titles, not intellectual productivity. And when you look, I have done a lot of quiet introspections comparing my stay in Norway with the 20 years I served in Sierra Leone. I have come to understood the deeper unseen sides of our crisis. And that's rightly is in the type of educational system that we have. A system that produces administrators and clerks can never make progress. Because progress, they come out of productive engagements. People learn that the society are not carpenter, not tailor, not mechanics, not you name it where they produce goods and services where people and they buy. Not only the one they go sit down for sign paper and write long, long policy. Policy, you know, they make money. You know, they make money. Policy, they make you dependent on other people. You make you policy, IMF come, European Union come, then can't do you no money, you're not able to help you now. When I shape shape them, build prisons, when I say when I don't build houses. Because all the houses that people build in Sierra Leone now, they are self-made prisons. You build house, you put high fence. You put wire, metal and the, the windows and the motor, and that prison. Why would they build houses? So because crime rates don't go up in this society. What do you make crime rates go up? Now, because we're not create a society that is productive. Every man gets for fending living. Every man gets for hustling. 
If that man may get in carpentry work where they go do he get good pay by the end of the month, not a tontif man. But come back to the question. If we get for be honest with myself, that's why I said we have to stop blaming. When we got independence in 1961, we not been get too many graduates. Up to 1970s to 1980s, we not been get too many graduates. That small cadre of graduates, who been for don't see them, we say. How do we take this country forward? Now, we for don't plan, we come with sustainable policies. And they're not late for Duam. Only that, right now, some of we are not ready for Duam. Because we don't just took ourselves into this idiocy of ego and self-aggrandizement that we're not going to do Duam. We need to go first and foremost and sanitize with public finance system. Make sure, say, we minimize unnecessary expenditure. We create a system that tracks every expenditure. Then you can control corruption. And at the same time, you'll be able to know those who pay taxes and those who don't pay taxes. If we get for do that, we get for go electronic. Okay. So before we come to solution, then, um, Mr. Jamboya. Let I just Jamboya. finish. Are they, are they okay. go on and off with solution? No, no. I want to ask you a question where you listen yes, to corruption. I make a say before we go to solutions, mm -hmm. um, you know, somebody respond to Celia Boma because Celia asked a question, say, when you know when actually corruption starts, corruption has always been in Sierra so since, the, the, since the, before colonial. Let, let me let me let me tell you the, the response from Mustafa Kone because I want to follow with you know, um, integrate the um, viewers' them response or comments. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a response to Celia say corruption in Sierra Leone started with Salva Magai, he wanted a one party system of government <laughs> and failed. He started the internal party fight for. Party. I was not. I used to subscribe to that thinking, but I have a different view now, sir. Okay, go ahead and explain that little. And again. it's time we begin to face the truth about who we are. Okay. Corruption has always been with us. Right. That is why in every one of our languages there is a word for corrupt practices. Anything was strange to a culture, they not get word for them. Sierra Leone language is not get word for motoka, they not get word for plane, they not get word for ship, they not get word for computer. But the Mende man say kuku jumuku, the Timli man say mokofe. These are integral actions we have been with. And in fact, the slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade, when I begin the root of all the mistrust in we society, now because of corruption that happened. I mean, they go catch people and then lie and say they're a witch man, then sell them into slavery. They did everything just for tobacco and spirit and some spices or whatever. That's corruption at that level and at that time. It will always deal with we. But what thing can make them exacerbated now because some of we got removed from the culture, we try to be westernized, we ended up having dual personalities, we don't even know that we be traditionally, the Western cultures not accept we. So what do we do? We think, say, now, when you add status to yourself by affluence, now you're not somebody. Now, you exacerbate and accelerate corruption. And that's why the educated class are the most corrupt today. I am telling you because I'm, I'm doing a research. I said it the last time. I've spent time and money researching on our history to find our bloodlines. And I have discovered that. And in the process, I have discovered the social and cultural issues that are the root of our problem in Sierra Leone. 
So, Mr. Jarno Jamboya, um, I want to, you know, you mentioned something, but in fact, I don't know, talk I'm pantap pantap, you know, can't you use geologists now? Um, you hi, you don't the pound on this issue about the political, you know, the educated class, the, you know, that narratem de salon go bad because we're not being get intellectuals and educated people page the holders then that much up to independence. Then up from to the time we eighty. Up okay, up onto up up onto nineteen eighty. But then we can't get them all. But the reason we can ask you this, we always blame Sierra Leone's uh, political issue because we get more illiterate people. Ninety percent of the population is illiterate. Then have you seen have you seen any illiterate man in an office in Freetown? But so now I make a one for you explain that so people will understand what you mean, where they blame. What I mean some people will see it as an attack on, you know. What I mean, every society, it gets a class of people who get the knowledge mm -hmm. and intellectual capacity for transform the society. And any country where don't make progress in this world, you they find out, say, it they start with correct type of education for suit and development need. Then the intellectual class where they emerge within that period, then they stick together, then put country first, then say, irrespective of you, then a blue party, you then a brown party, you then a green, you then a red. I need to a concern with country. Let it take precedence over with party affairs. So then they make them palaver, then go argue in a parliament, then go do everything. But when it comes to a national issue, then they look at the best possible advantage and sustainable solution. In our own case, the intellectuals are the very ones who create unsustainability. And in the process, what did they do? Now they ego, then they sell to the public. I did this, I did that. You have not done anything. Because if you don't have everybody to participate in what you have done, then that thing is not sustainable. This political divide will get. Now the intellectual class cause them. The root of them, they now universities. And because we are politically divided, any government will come in power in order to succeed, whether they get good intention or bad intention, whether they get geniuses or idiots, it will never succeed. Because the collective participation, the collective mindset will make things happen and let people and feel say, this is for us, let us do it in our day. That's where the intellectual class has failed. That's where my class has failed. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'll come to you on the geography side of things soon, but I'll go back to um, Yusuf Jalo. You get, um, Yusuf, you get anything we want to piggyback on on waiting, uh, Boy Jalo Jamboy, I say, uh, waiting, could you mind? Or, yeah, like, what's um, anything? I mean, I've always, always, you know, um, loved being here with the elder, um, Mr. Jamboria, always. And um, time spent with him has always been challenging, but also very, very inspiring. And I think that, you know, we, one of the responsibilities of an older generation, not for provide, not provide, for produce a next generation way better than their own. That has to be the key we we talk of sustainability. Currently, we the area we present the president they talk about human capital development. Now, as far as I'm concerned, human beings we're not capital. That's a very Western way of looking at we mortal man. No, we are bigger than capital. We are definitely not capital. 
Because then they use phrases like this, then the dabaru with people them, as Fela Kuti go say, then they confuse with people them, then they reduce we to 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 just almost change where they go make way for. No, we are not. So for me, that terminology, human capital development, is an absolute rubbish to be used to address any of the amazing young people them where we get any talented people them where we get Nasser Leone. No. I'm going to look and say with people them, I would rather use the word the genius is the world get now a country, the very intelligent people that will get now a country, and on and on and on. We need for begin for see the value at that kind of level, so that even when we talk say for improve, we don't identify the different values that we the people then get. So that we know for say we they begin for work with these values them. But for can begin for put this blanket terminology for say human capital development. What kind of the now the kind of talk now and they um <laughs> Mr. Jambore will probably laugh at this one where the intellectuals that they use all the time for confuse and tabaro with people them we mean jack nothing. And if we talk of decolonizing, we get for begin for whip then stupid talk then they out of we mind and look we the young people them and with the and the Sierra Leone and Koro Koro one and, and identify the value them, the skills them all people then get and begin for improve their skills then they not tell me about human capital development. Who that gets the capital and who that not the human? Because at the end of the day, you could find out, say, one person take the capital, they go, then the human seed they left, they grown dry panam. Right? So nobody tell me about human capital development. All I want, make we talk about, look at the talents we are available inside the country. Let me develop them talents and the way people then get and then boku. So for me, as I say, talking of the the um, the, the middle class or the educated class, if you like, or the intellectual class, no put it that way they, um, you're right that to a large extent they really, really, really fail we. But um and, and why they fail we as Mr. Jalo Jamboy had already so you know wonderfully ex explained, there's a lot way then way they can do as well. There's a lot where they can do if they ready for do that. But as we will say, in changing Sierra Leone, and I'm and I'm addressing the intellectual class right now. If in changing Sierra Leone, they have to understand there cannot be any sacred cows. There cannot be any. They've got to call out what it is for what it is. And this is the shock with the inside the Sierra Leone system right now, whether it's inside the SLPP or whether it's just the general civil service at the moment and many areas them where this Dr. John Lahai just come in and they talk plain the kind of craziness where they go on inside the education system. Well, let me face the fact and ask this question, and I'm sure many of us will get the answer for this. Is the Sierra Leone academic system a scam? In my opinion, it is a scam. Because what he is say na the packet, not to he the deliver. Right? What they tell me? They say, let the picking go school, let me go school, we go land book, we go land book, we go better. Yes? Now that, that I mean you know, paraphrase, cut and short, go school, they go. When we don't go to school, we don't come out now. We the better. Now, like I say, when we take this European paradigm we now we depend use, individually, we may be fine. And I use the word very carefully in our soul. Individually, we may be fine. Because <laughs> Mr. Jambore are talking plainly. You don't go build your baby goes, you build big, big fence, you put yourself back in a prison. Why? Because the freedom that we can jump inside. Why? Because the rest of the population is desperately poor. So they're going to jump inside your yard. So you may be fine. But to, some extent, to, to an extent. But you not get wood, you not get water, you not get light. That's so not man just suffering. like the poor man. <laughs> exactly. Right. Exactly. So so la, la, well, well, how do you call that? Not to idiot. She work in saying I idiot then then the vex. <laughs> right. Now bring T Boy come into this now. <laughs> Professor Dr. <laughs> T Boy Duba. Is the I, education system a scam? <laughs> I, 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 I'm not going to accept with useful in points to some margin, but not all the way through. Like I say, why? 
Um, the education system that Salon we don't last for long in terms of creating the impact of the integrity of we very few learned Sierraleans in the room, not for say, acquire higher learning degrees like a PhD over the, I would say, 30, 40 years back. And then when they don't prove them to be say, yes, education was not a scam in Sierra Leone. I, if I can remember, I mentioned a few names, the Dr. Abila Conti, Dr. Abbas Bundu, and a few more of the other names that we have to say don't do so well out of Sierra Leone in terms of their credibility of the qualifications, the way they don't hold. Okay, so and what do you mean they don't do so well? Um, academically? Academically, and in terms of excelling with their academic credentials out of Sierra Leone, not just so within out, Sierra Out of Sierra Leone. Out of Sierra Leone, yes. So we talk about within Sierra Leone now. No, well, again, uh, the education system I have for say was mm-hmm. not a scam then. It might be a scam now, but it wasn't a scam then. I just I have to go half and half. May, okay, may I, may I say, still, it's a scam. In fact, that's when it becomes the biggest scam. Okay. Uh, I come off. Hold on, hold on, Yusuf, and hold on, um, foot of state. Let me hear it, boy. Then I'll come to now because this is very interesting. <laughs> because it was yesterday and now today. Because yes. now, so, today, we don't hear anything about PhD, this, that, and that. So, T-Boy, don't, don't quick, then okay. I'll go to uh, Calfoot Prince and, uh, and boy. Back, back in the days, I'm talking about 40, 50 years back. I would say 40 years back, not even that far, or maybe 30 years back. Mm-hmm. Um, you find out, say, there were very few PhD holders in civil union. There were very few master's degree holders in civil union. And there were very few bachelor degree holders in civil union. Because mm-hmm. back in the t- 30 years back, it was not just a privilege. It was more than a privilege to be a student of the Florida College University. Or people were being boastful of attending the military Magais and the Injalas because most of the graduates from those universities were our teachers in primary and secondary schools. So education was not a scam then because people knew straight away if they have a qualified teacher's degree, just like Mr. Boyd did, he goes straight into classroom and starts teaching because he has been qualified as a teacher. And if Mr. Boy can say 30 years back education was a scam with Yusuf in reference, then I will question that. But currently, I would say within the past 15 to 20 years, I will put my hands up to say maybe there has been a lot of scamishable degrees that we are not even sure of. But the credentials of those degree holders, Mr. Bidon again highlights, 15 years ago to say they were not credible enough because they cannot, they cannot actually present themselves with the qualifications that they carry alongside their names. So 15 years back, 20 years, education now becomes a scam because it means everybody is being boastful of saying, I have a degree becomes part of my title any application or any job or any kind of title where anybody will carry has double degrees at the end. When you look at the business cards 30 years ago, you will see they were all entitled with degrees at the end of it. Because now that's not been a model now. Everybody should have a degree to be somebody. And we, we realize, say, to be somebody with a degree means nothing if you cannot practice or deliver according to the status of your degree. And we begin here, like say, flaws then begin happen within the degree title holders there. Questions we've been asked. Okay, how come you can learn what you don't qualify for back in the job? Oh, okay, all right. So, so to be uh, very honest to you, I will disagree and agree with Yusufu at some right. point, and then I will hold my grounds now to say 20 years down the line, degree or education in Sierra Leone becomes a scam because it means okay. every title at the end of your name represents who you are and it gives you a different type of status to who you were before that status. 
All right. Thank you so much, uh, MT Boy. And um, we will get another guest for joining me shortly. So keep watch um, for um, allow that guest. And um, for end with you, T Boy, before I go to um, Yusufu and Wejalo Jamboya, there's a question. We, my food for thoughts question say, what is education if it doesn't benefit you and your people? Fine. Education. Oh, that's that's bad. That bringing you in. Yeah, <laughs> you make a count in there. Now, so I said already that yeah. when you're looking at from based on what T Boy was talking about, I'm saying that that in fact was the biggest scam. Now I am going to go back further back. Okay. And I will dare say this here. You should 10 years back or 40 years back? No, I'm going back, back. maybe 70, 90 yeah. years Wait. back. Okay. The biggest scam that we got loaded with in Sierra Leone, Mr. Jambora is going to scream when I say this, but I'm going to say it here. And, I'll, and allow me to give my justification. The biggest scam is the opening of the Furabe College by the British. Why do I say that? The Furabe College that became the university where that became the Athens of British West Africa and all of that stuff. Why was it opened? It was opened to produce servants for to fuel, to support the British colonial matrix. It was not built to produce service providers to build the Sierra Leone nation. Therefore, every single aspect of study within that time, you will find it was highly colonialized, and in fact, much of the education that we were, that we're giving, that, we, that many people got from there, and, and I'll say this, including myself going to Prince of Wales Secondary School, and St. Edward's, and Annie Walsh, and St. Joseph Convent, Bow School, all of us that went to those places, our mindsets were geared towards looking at the former oppressors and if I like background oppressors as the ones to always look up to and honor in whatever they bring to us. So the moment when we don't finish school, like I said earlier on, we trajectory now for run away for go out because now they the higher education day. Many of our so-called educated people never went up country for go understand what is this thing with Ronkoba? Whose science we did behind the Ronko? Many did not go back to go and understand black soap. What's the importance of black soap? They all want for you to send soap, and they buy the send soap, come abroad and bring and come. Many of them simply just wanted to go out and bring foreign stuff in. Now, when they kept doing that, it's because of the kind of mindset. So if we go to our court today, our judges and lawyers and so on are still boasting, are still boasting of wearing, are still boasting of wearing the white wig on their heads and dressed in all that black and so on. When are we going to be educated enough, confident enough to sweep that thing around and start wearing our Ronko hats or even the hat that you're wearing on, on, on your head there, Juma? Or we begin to inspire our own designers to design our own uniform that we will wear in court. How much industry will, will that open? Okay, and that, Olande. I'm coming. I'm waiting. Wait, wait, let me learn. That to me is what education should be about. If you're going to tell me that you have an education system and this education does not serve the interest of those common people that are out there who are holding everything up there, then that education, in my opinion, is scam. It is deeply, deeply flawed. Okay. Thank you so much. I go hold uh, Boy Jalo Jamboya for a minute and uh, welcome. We other guests from Sierra Leone, now the Republic, uh, Mr. Karimba. Um, you know, Mr. Karimba, at a start, sports, 
I don't know which other. Happy Independence Anniversary. <laughs> No, and they are me. I know. <laughs> I know they agree. I know I'm happy. We must okay. be happy. Like you must be happy. Eh? Okay. So, say yes. the finance Mr. Kaim. <laughs> so, welcome, Mr. Kaimba from the Republic. And yeah. um, today's program, and thank you for taking time and uh, for reflect on Sierra Leone independence mm-hmm. uh, 61 years today. So, it's more for reflection. Um, Definitely. Let me hear you. Um, Mr. You know, Kaim, before thank you very much. What's that uh, easy? We make you come now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, blackout. Okay. <laughs> today, uh, two term a disgrace today. Two term. Uh, uh, Jalo Jaboye, one talk for you. you. No, no, we, we, we mute we mute them because one for le, you know we meet everybody else so good okay. for you. Yeah. Yes. Um, two term today now get national disgrace to myself because. I be get a a, a a work meeting, Zoom meeting this morning way with some other people outside of the country. I don't tell them say today I'm a national holiday, you know. Um you know, so usually we they celebrate, you know, that the country, I begin to tell them on the country, and the lights go. <laughs> the lights go in the middle of Zoom meeting with other people there. So I get for a rush. Come on at us and drive run go by Abadin to have a friend. We get solar and get internet. I go set up the quick and meet up to the tail end of the meeting. So then I want this grace. Then this evening, Temak, as we cut fast no more, then the lights go. And I say, oh, I say, it look like say, today on this meeting. So just light just come. So it just summarized the situation all day. I mean, up till now, the fundamental, basic things they were supposed to forget water, light. You know, this is not thing they will not for the right now. The te- maybe oh, for the worry about maybe the last last village, them then bien Kono, bien um uh, uh, um and um, and Falabana. Then suddenly now for the worry, say then self need forget clean pipe, born water, electricity. Now, not to cities anymore, you know. So, really, um, so that's why I mean, today I don't do any happy, I remove all the happy for celebration for the independence anniversary and it's, um. It's really sad. It's really sad. So, we so, not so reflect. Anywhere. So reflect for we from 1961 to date. Wow, from 1961. I mean, the reflection would be so huge. I mean, um, we we inherit um, a, a, a system. I mean, Migo Seusa, we start for forget it wrong that the prime minister will get at independence. I mean. Always people that can say, okay, now we will not be corrupt. I mean, we can get that day. But he was a man will not be get no vision at all. You know, because if you listen to all the, most of the independent heroes, the way we get, you go read and they quote them. You go read and they quote in coma. You go read and they quote Sekutuwe, where he talks, you know, uh, uh, poverty uh, in freedom is better than uh, 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 riches under slavery. You go read and quote Kwame Nkrumah, the independence of Ghana is meaningless until the you know the rest of Africa independence. You know, all these leaders and you know and it should say you know if you compare them with all these leaders, there were one fundamental difference. They had a vision for transform the country to something else. Whilst at independence, you know, we leader will be get uh, 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 Samil Timagai didn't have any vision. If you listen to an independence speech I mean, I think saying that day the problem starts. If you listen to an independent speech, you are saying nothing is going to change. Everything will remain the same. The only difference is that now when things go wrong, now self will they blame. But he had no vision. He had no motivation. Usai want to take the country, or like other leaders. I mean, if you take Guinea under secretary, in space of five years, they wanted to inter- industrialize the country. So they addressed the issue of electricity. In same with Ghana, in in five years, in fact, they done the Akosombo Dam one year ahead of time. They started to address even they don't do dam na, na Ghana from the mid sixties, maybe um, you know less than mid sixties, you know, uh, let's say early sixties. They don't done the dam. They don't begin plan for atomic energy. How for use atomic and other energy now in the in the in, you know in the future. So if you go Accra, there is one place in Accra, if you, you know, frequent Accra, they call atomic, 
You know, then put a put that if you take to go to them, go say atomic people in the city, they cannot atomic atomic. Now be the research center we in Kuma build for see how they go use atomic and other nuclear and hey, lights don't go. <laughs> um, as just like how Kaim the talk, it don't begin build the momentum, lights don't go. So, why should they wait for her for connect? Um, now we bring Jalo Jamboya in. Um, you know, now you hear your contributions. So, why should they wait for Kaim for Kaim? this? Is this is very disheartening, it's disheartening, yeah. disheartening. But now come to Osai Yusuf Minde. And this issue of education, because I know much about them. As a matter of fact, I fell victim in 1983-84 because I asked a question. I go teach now in school na Lunge Bula Mama dear. Mm. There were 12 teachers actually existing. Mm. But the staff voucher had 75 names. So go back to my wait now almost. 75 names were on the staff voucher. But how many teachers? 12. Okay. It was a small school. I mean, they planned for go work in the airport, so I moved. That I left Kankele, who said I've been a teacher. I moved go over Lunge, waiting this job in the airport. I got the job actually later. But um, I said, La, no, see, do I do why so they wait for get the, uh, the engagement? La, they go teach. Here was this school, now small school, now one long building, now 12 teachers there, but they had a voucher of 75 teachers. First month, I sign a look, look, look. I say, Oh, Bokusu, I know they see the other teacher. The second month, I asked Tariq, the principal. Next day, he took his bag and he entered the ferry and came to Freetown. Even time, he called me in the chief education officer, I said, for, for terminate me service. What you tell him that they are not talking now? Okay. I lock so, him inside the office. I pull him mm -hmm. up. And he paid me three months salaries in lieu of time. So let we, we normally in a one month it for be. Wow. Okay. The corruption in education started at that time in the early 80s. Right. And it was coordinated by the man who was chief education officer then. He may they locate people them as principal for run the diamond voucher racket. That was where they started destroying education. Because now from that point in time, now we stop for able to equip with schools then. When I went to school, up to the time I went to university, everything was equipped. At July University, we had three meals a day. The labs were equipped. The geography department had an art satellite receiving machine. We were getting data from Landsat 3. It was at that time I knew all the resources we have in Sierra Leone. That's why I know that platinum is in Freetown. That's what Black Johnson is about. Okay. Mr. Okay. John, let John, let John, just finish. Let okay. just finish. Right. I don't want to let you know, say, education function up to that term with corruption enter into the ministry. Equipment of schools, equipment of laboratory, it begin deteriorate. From there, we get overcrowding starting in schools. Schools like Ahmadiyya Muslim Secondary Sector. Then, everything went basak. Now they pass to Teti Day. So for say, so, education has scam. what in Yusuf say, I go gain 40%. Because when the British came, as a matter of fact, Fobe College was not the first educational institution in Sierra Leone. The first educational institution in Sierra Leone started centuries before that. The Roman Catholics they don't come, they be don't educate people them. Because they may they meet with the, the coastal chiefs, then they educate them, begin them. One of the 
the kings of Koya. Then face and camp Portugal, he get a bachelor's, he go back for Google, but he did not last long. One of the farmer there. That not to camp and today, but what I want to let we know is the people, the Europeans went to seek their interest. They came with an education that will serve them. After independence, they did not stop us to devise our own system. India devised a system competent for them. And in 1961, they passed a new education policy and a national law for apprenticeship We build India today into an industry-grade country. Okay. Okay. Can so I go right. back I to what you are saying? Our intellectuals are we the well salon? Yes. Our I want to hold on a bit. I want to hold on a bit. I hold on a bit. I Karim chance. I think Karim will come know, back. Karim day, although lights not, you know the see I'm but one for like continue. Yeah, let's talk normal. Let's get it. Get with it. Get waiting. Um. Mr. Boy Jalo Jamboy, I just highlight so a Karim touch on that. Say we had independence, the person we lead with the prime minister will lead to independence according to your own, you know, opinion. Now that the we prime minister not being a vision for Sierra Leone and for Africa. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's the difference. Karim, continue, sir. Yes, I feel to say um uh, yes, uh sorry, I mean I know the while now. Um I think to say that day we get we start forgetting song and Karim Karim, bole for light pa wibo. Imagine light day. What's na problem? I used to be light off. Left we. Well, so te so te you get light na you us and see you no keep coming na us. Who say me dey na dey talk but na sabi but. Continue sir. So so yes. So I think say so that's the that's one one problem. So because he lack that vision, um. You know, you're not able for, you know, able for sort of come up with a, a sort of a separate path, a different path for transform the economy. So the economy be based on force, even based on raw material exports. You know, uh, um, pamine, uh, piasava, cocoa, later cocoa and coffee coming. Um, then uh, with in the thirties with diamond, you know, mining starts platinum force. Then I think diamond and iron ore and all of this. You know, branch into that. So we became exporters of primary products. You know, uh, unlike you know somebody like Nkuma, we we get a plan for transform the economy. You know, we get no plan for transform the economy for make we for produce some of the things. So in credit, it try for after independence, then it try for diversify the economy, bringing you know set up some factory them and all that, but. The mainstay of the economy remain for exports, raw material, cocoa, coffee, and then in the whilst in Kuma, they may think about transforming cocoa into a final product before air exports. And and you also see say the um, take education. I mean when they talk about education just now, you know, they say in the eighties, nine education starts. Okay, start for well. Okay, you go see now that the corruption starts for setting everything well. But take also compare in Kuma in Ghana. And and uh, and and uh, salon, all the grade A school them, you know, we be exist, we exist today in a salon. If you talk about the Prince of Wales, you talk about the Annie Walsh, you talk about the grammar school, you talk about the boat school, you talk about all the top school way, you know, everybody they talk say these are the best schools and the grade A schools that we'll get. Uh, I mean, they, have, they existed before colonialism. Tell me now, since we get independence, almost of them kind standard school and they, we don't get na the country. You know, uh, almost Prince of Wales, the government don't build. Almost both school, the government or, don't build, or, or Maboka boys or Matora girls. You know, if you go my and buy, get all the schools. There. So if you check all the district there and all the, you know, you know schools there, main secondary schools there will be get. Now they still there. If you go Pujong, Isaiwe JJ Safago, you go get uh, uh, Saint Paul's. Kenema, you will get the government schools. Uh, uh, go, uh, Ken, government secondary school, Kenema. You go, you go Kono, you go get KSS, Kono secondary school. You go, you know, uh, uh, all of it. You go uh, um, uh, uh, Kabbalah, you also get Kabbalah secondary school. So you find out, say, 
we, you know, because we don't get that vision for transform, we are still stuck with the same schools without trying to improve and get, you know, 10 or 20 other annual them, get 10 uh, other POs them around the country. In Kumat Independence, um, a, a, they get a plan for build a, a, a body norm school, like them both school and, and PO standard uh, or academy standard school or, or annual school at independence. So within 10 years, they build um, secondary school now every, um, I would call it maybe district or chiefdom, mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, so you see in a plan ahead and, and get this vision for say one for reach somewhere, you know, in the next 30, 50 years. But we didn't have that. We just get independence. We say, okay, wait till we get, now we we'll get. So there is no plan for improvement. If you take also the the infrastructure, let's take road uh, road infrastructure. The road infrastructure will be get, okay, you know, there were some addition, uh, you know, in the 70s, they built the, the Connor Road, the Huawei Link, McKinney and Connor, and uh, the Kabbalah Road as well, some few roads, few roads. But the the infrastructure of Salon, the road network and the real network will be in our Salon is designed by the colonialists for for export raw material. So if you if the, um, the road where they come up bow, they can't free The road where they come up push out, they can't bow for can't free The road where they come up corner now for can bow or or or, or, or McKinney and can't free So with that kind of system, they we not get. Uh, a, a road network where they enhance internal trade. So, for example, up till now, if you want come on Kabbalah with your cow, I don't know if uh, uh, Juma Inge worry, but me, I don't start me worrying on Kabbalah. If you want for pull you, you, you cow from Kabbalah or, or cow milk from Kabbalah and care and go push on uh, or, or bonds for go sell, you can't because you will take like three or one week for travel. You get for, you know, fan truck, you know, it's almost impossible. So there is no straight link line where they, where they connect the north and the south in a way where, you know, the, the fish and the, and the, and the permine and the, and the uh, coconut oil where they come up, push out and bonds, go able to find and safe na corner or able to find itself na up north na Kabbalah, uh, uh, you know, that place that they, and vice versa. The beef self na they come up, go down na the south, the fish na they come up, go up. So we are stuck. Everything has to come to free time because this is how the infrastructure was created. We have not thought through to say how we will link even uh, Kono and Koinadugu. Do you know that you cannot travel easily unless you really, I don't know whose kind of truck you get, maybe uh, if you need a helicopter for travel from Kono by road, you cannot. From Kono by road for camp, a neighboring, a neighboring district like Kailau. Or uh, um, on the on the other side, uh, Falaba Falaba mm -hmm. district or Konadugu district. So if you come on Kono, you get PR where you want to sell, let's say you want or you get you know beef Mango. or something you want go yes where you want care go na 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 the other neighboring district. You get for come from Kono, you get for come Makeni. I want me 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 you visualize which are they talk so. We all know the country. You get for come on Kono, you come. All the way to Makeni, you find all the travel back go all up on up, up north. You go Kabbalah before you find your way back uh, 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 east towards Konobak. You go Falaba then side and day. The same thing if you want for pool fish, come on, Yeliboya na 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 Cambia district. You cannot go straight to to Falaba or Konadugu. We na 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 this na place ain't offer, but would not they for good it. So you see the infrastructure. Is not. I mean, even. I mean, I need to go into other things like democracy. I mean, and all this state failure and all of that. Just the system, the structure for make we transform. For more go before, electricity now one fundamental thing. Water is another fundamental. Roads and network. Roads and rail network. We destroy the small railway be there, even though you know it was meant for exploit with raw material, can't free to export them. We not develop them or, or change them in a way we go enhance internal trade network where Moyaba uh, 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 will go Cambia uh, 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 easily, Cambia will go Kono easily, and 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 then continue it. So I mean, I just stop there in terms of reflection. Mm -hmm. That this kind of reflection I get right now. I need to talk about the culture, okay? 
people and they will go talk about the culture and the education. Okay, well, thank you so much, uh, Karim, for that. Stay with me. Make sure say somebody say we the talk like talk with people so the the, the phone self no go digest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, so uh, um, so Karim in points, I think um, I don't know whether na um, Yusuf Jalo, um, Celia just mentioned just you now. Say we talk about the infrastructure and the internal road system. He said the Boile Road will connect the north via Matutuka. I don't know if you get connection with inside and there because it's not motorable. Right? When I know, but they say if you develop them, yes, the connection then be Boile, yeah. my ninety one to Maboka. Maboka. Mm -hmm. Then connections they been there, but as Karim rightly say, mm -hmm. and this is why I always blame our class, the intellectual class. I don't care what thing we think about that. We have to take the responsibility. We have not acted in the interest of nation building. Because all that transformation here, yeah, now we class for Sidom and say, let us do it for our country. Yes, we need to look to the leader. But countries, the way they get transformation, the leadership gets people them around them where they work in the interest of national development and collective participation. In the case of Sierra Leone, Karim, Sam Milton will not have done much because he had internal problems with the very SLPP led. Just like Tidan Kaba in the second term had problems with the SLPP. That's not the topic we are discussing today, but I know it. The problem came at the 1958 Bo Convention when the radicals in the party stood up and I will get so today, Baupa. I'll get so. It was started by Albert Magai. Milton Magai could not have done much. There are several reasons, but we cannot discuss them today. Okay. okay? All right. So, um, Yusuf Jalo, to that point, um, Karim, you know, Kona, I'm, I'm reflecting on that statement because I never go back and, you know, read that speech day. You know, for I understand, I'm in detail, but now Karim don't push me where I'll get for go read. And that statement say nothing is going to change, things will remain the same. And we language today, um, Yusuf, we all they settle because that has become the thing. Ah, but nothing will change, but all things are the same if we do this self now that. So, is it just a Sierra Leonean thing or? Now just vision, not the waiting because can you not highlight other countries the way now we neighbor in countries? Um, you know, the foot of state self don't highlight a lot of it, all reference India a lot, you know. So waiting, wait, waiting exactly now the now we the people or now just now the, we the people, group? the the intellectual class is oh, divided. Okay, oh, okay. hold on, Mr. Jalo, la la allow um you for coming. Yeah, oh, that's the, 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 the issue. Right. Yes. Yes. But I like for I, I mean Mr. Jamboria is putting it with the intellectual class, maybe non go all the way back to the to for a big college and the how they put the education system and how like another education system they, they mm -hmm. influence this up now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um Mr. Jamboria would agree with me that you know you are what you think. Yeah, as they yeah. say. Agree. In other words, what has happened to us we need to identify and i say and i've always said this and i will say this over and over till i'm gonna make it probably that the worst form of colonialism was implemented in sierra leone in our minds it happened to us now we have to call a spade a spade we have to identify this kind of the problem not because we are blaming but because we have to know that the problem this then let we solve them yeah in in relation to what um to what mr jamboria um is saying about the intellectual class that's it the intellectual waiting don't go na the aid don't unbog all thing else Remember what I just said, which T-Boy, of course, um, challenged when I talk about the system being a scam. In that, our elders were told that when they go to school, 
the book would and the go land. That one day, nine, they can make them better. Nine, they can make the place so bad. That book, they tell them go land onomatopia. Then go land, you know, all Jimmy Jamba, Bibi, in some jam jam. Right. They learn all these words, them. When they come to say those words to you and me, as Felakuti would say, they will dabaru you. They will tell you who that you, you illiterate, you know, sabi nothing. Let's think about it. This is what the intellectual class would say to their own parents who gave birth to them on their own aunties and uncles who are in the villages. They tell them that them backward, then too illiterate, then too full of witchcraft, then too this, then too that, everything. And in fact, Many of we leaders in today, oh, you know, so we people are illiterate. I, you see, Fujalo stand here to say, no, we people are not illiterate. We people are incredibly intelligent. But that system of education that they had gone and, um, and so powerfully, dedicatedly pursued and consumed, when they come with that education system, they, they, they become they they become um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now two face basically one way this way and the other one in this way. So what did them begin for tell we? Not so then they tell me what did you go to offline? Me I need to go offline up and then which business would then get today? But offline not to in the feed we have it on. Yeah. They don't care for good day. Then if me me know. Me daddy come up line, but me know how much we be to say I defeat every single holiday for me be back and me go up line. It wasn't that easy. Me language for talk limba, me, uh, uh, for talk limba, forget about the fuller now, but for talk limba, na yagba na dry eye, me pain I be for land lab for talk limba. Why? Because only when I talk English, me papa say, hey, you don't give for talk now. So you come off free tongue, you learn, don't learn small English, way that English is self na, na nambara. But as soon as you go up line, what's they call it? Hey, opoto don't come. Opoto don't come. You know, they put you on, on a pedestal. What I'm saying is, the intellectual class, then, then you sup that particular, they, 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 they hijack that, that kind of admiration the old people then get for saying that now, so, hey, this time the one way land book, then you sup down, they, they abuse that power, they and use that for embezzle, and use that for literally drain and nasty the country. But that kind of mindset is exactly what in the British they mean on the do to we all the time. Then can them bamboozle yeah. we with the way they dress, with the way yeah. they talk. When in fact, if we go back and check the system, we will see, see what the English people were going through in England, they were living in desperate poverty. They say commonwealth. So who's the common and who has the wealth? We go ten for thing for say now then get the wealth then now we are the common no they are the common now we get the wealth we need to reverse this thing so when we're talking of all of this I'm, when I'm talking about the education system being a scam I'm not saying our people are not intelligent all I'm saying is that the kind knowledge we don't put inside the brain it come to we now they're not able for adapt inside the system then the two way all within. What we get? This is why up till today we cut the tick them na sayalun, rotor rata, left, right, and center. We not even think about how the ecosystem will survive. And that's because we know this, we not understand the education system with the upline. We don't understand why make people and they say, hey, na Gina Musa na that na tick do. Hey, na this day na no go cut them. They don't seem time to, to understand why make the why why this for be. Um, um, I'm sure, Mr. Jambura, if you ever go down na Kokul Bay during the day, day, we miss have been small, small day from the 70s to, you know, 70s and so on. You go down Kokul Bay, the water pristine clean. Mm -hmm. pristine. And I don't mean they go swim, I mean they go grammar school. Fine. Malombo Bush been there na grammar school. We go swim Kokul Bay, we they go swim down Yellow Submarine. Fine. They now, were clean water. Clean. How come? How come? How did we not maintain it? It's again, we don't mess up the whole area. It can only be because of the education system we will really get. It's not one, again, I repeat, it's not one that's designed to build the nation of Sierra Leone. That I agree designed with. For I agree with that's 100%. It's, it's for the same reason why. We lead as in thief money, then they care and go now that pussy in bank, then go put on the what sense does that make? It's right. madness, but that's exactly what we are. We now to for being an African in Europe, 
to be, to operate as an African in Europe, you have to be out of your mind. I'll, I'll repeat what I'm saying here. I want you to understand what I'm saying. To be African man in Europe, you get to be out of your mind. In other words, you're crazy. Because for we, for be in we mind as African people, like waiting with the talk right now, this in many cases, this is not dangerous talk because now awareness will be raised to for make we be with self and let we self begin for do we own thing. Well, it's even a dangerous talk in Sierra Leone, you know, let alone outside of Sierra Leone. There, so. there you go. Because again, this bunch, um, these people who had gone through this education and many of us who had gone through it, we are out of our minds. And to be out of your mind, if I'm, I hate to say it, it's like you're crazy. You're not really yourself. And because you're not yourself, how can you address yourself? How can you really begin to treat yourself when you not believe in a UDs? Okay, Olande, um, Yusuf, thank you so much. Like I'm to Kayim. Hey, lights don't come. <laughs> Let's unmute uh, Kayim. Kayim. Lights don't come. Lights Light don't, don't come. come. Hey. <laughs> so Kayim, um, Okay, we we you mentioned. I like this comparison we make with other countries because they relate, and uh, we don't, don't talk about education. You highlight the number of schools from independence where the Nkumas then build. But now we are proud enough where we get small cake. We want for give picking them better education. If we able carry them go England, America, and other Western countries, we rather send them to uh, uh, um, Ghana. Because you know, say so we good, they will get better education. Because at least the foundation was there. We we not even believe what you get. So the yes. question where I get is this: We you highlight say we uh, prime minister will lead me to independence, not being a vision. But what happens to the other people? You know, we come after we we boku past our one prime minister day. Yeah. 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 Um. Uh, you talk about the education in Ghana. I like give you an interesting story. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, uh, I go um, Ghana mm -hmm. around January. So um, I travel from from uh, the sea coach now. So one of we one of we top government people them uh, instead with the travel with in picking them for care them go school board and home now. Now, this is now small, small picking. The one like ten, the other one is literally like five girl picking. I mean, five year old girl picking. They pull their salon. Um, then they go back after the holidays for go back a uh, uh, body home. You know, now uh, one of the senior people in our parliament. I do wonder. I do wonder. Say. Uh, you don't think to say he educated Pekin in our salon? I mean, and I want other people to get a fake degree as well. You know? I'll give you a clue. You know, so... Uh, yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, All this is there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, uh, Mr. Jarrah, I'm going to hold for him. Continue, continue. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay. So, this is the Kego five-year-old daughter and a 10 year old daughter with a nanny for day with them for care all the way go Ghana and go left them and come back left them about in home I mean it doesn't even make sense you know you go able to hold that position what if you left you know you lost the position in the next one or two years you will continue for do that you know definitely now the loot when the loot time go make them for do this you will not go able to put your bikini and let's say even about in home that salon or put them in any of the private school now they put there, you get for fly them because you get access to free money in the country. You know? So anyway, that says it about the thinking of a political class is that they have destroyed everything, then destroy the education, then they can pick it and go overseas or private school. Then destroy the transportation system. Uh, first they will be small, small ones, then they can go bus ride. Then we can do the yeah. ticket bus to go round, 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 round,
public transport for everybody. Now we can get and build and buy lots of uh, 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 four by fours and G players, so shadows for all of these big guys, you know. So it's, you know, uh, um, so instead of providing public goods with with with, with taxpayers' money, they're using it just to, for their own enjoyment, yeah. you know, and their own pleasure and entertainment. You know, they will travel all they want, give themselves all kind of huge allowance. We see all the rent allowance from African Express, you know. Then you cannot provide basic living wage for people, your teachers, you know. So you know it really does, you know, don't show. You come from a college, the transport for go for transport not for student and for go for the college. They go for Tikukara. Every other day, student they, they, they get accident by bike, then kill one bobo just the day before he graduates. And nobody mm. says everything of anything about it. You know, a deep okada, then kill them. Public transport, no government bus, no day with the one model for Kerem picking and go uh, 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 college a uh, campus. Not, not being addressed. And they, they pass the every day, they, they, you know, get them, jeep them, and they proud of them, they pass the every day, feel proud, feel to say they're not big people. Them. They need to provide Puda Puda for the student and for him to go up on campus. You know? So let's li- li- so, listen to these comments, Kai, uh-huh. um, and, and question well two comments then we i think mm-hmm. they line with which you talk about say the intellectual intellectual class has the mentality of entitlement they think they are the only ones entitled to the national kick everyone else deserves mm-hmm. nothing that yes. is why the political el- elite uses the most derogatory word on the youth as grassroots then mm-hmm. another person in your comment happy independence to youth mandem and okada riders i sympathize with the teachers then yeah. So we see this first person talk about the exactly the mentality of the political elites. It's about grabbing everything for themselves and then and go begin bigger, bigger now say, Oh, now every for me get um, uh, electricity, now every for me get then go bigger, bigger. The resources they will for manage, you know, for we self for provide basic things them, you know, they needed one. Um um one one I begin our WhatsApp group, who say, you know, late powers for a WhatsApp group, you know, remembering powers for a WhatsApp group. I believe a lot of government people let me did it, but me don't come on there now. One day, you know, at the group, the, at the grumble at the WhatsApp group, why people for the, I not be even know this African Express revelation about almost they almost they spent a tea and coffee, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and almost they spend up a rent allowance and all that. People they give themselves huge amounts. But just no see no more that they pay themselves a lot of money. See, so why do you guys who not just kind of power and not do anything for the people that you not able to improve anything? When they go pay on themselves so much, you know, boku boku money. You know, this is one of the advice that they come on a diaspora we come, you know, and the advice on, on I don't know, private sector and the vice president's in office. Now you say, if me know almost Donald Trump they pay a, 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 a advice at them. That word, they really, really, it really shocked me. It really showed me how these people are really selfish and then they think about the people that interest at all. It just summarized them for me. From that day, they are not talking again to that Monday. It's really because this is the mentality entitlement for themselves, nothing for the people. So you ask about the leadership. I think we are cost in terms of leadership. Milti um, Magai set the tone, lack of vision, and uh, but he was a little bit somebody with integrity, I will say, but he lacked the vision for even transform the country. After that, when Albert Magai came in, it's all about power struggle. It's all about power, power, power. It's about power. So Albert Magai came, it's guy for crush, shaky, even he lost the election, you know, for handover. Perhaps if that, that will they say Shaki really not the worst leader because he lasts the longest, and it began opportunity for change things, but it not change anything. Himself he was in, interested in power grab. He was corrupt, and he used all kinds of dangerous manipulation and everything, you know. But imagine perhaps if the coup not be happened in 1967, when Albert lost the election, if it be just hand over peacefully to Shaki, you know. So imagine that if we just hand over peacefully to Shaki, he step out. Perhaps 
you know, I'm not giving excuses for Shaki, of course. I mean, uh, all are fully responsible for, for the destruction of the country. But perhaps that not for don't set the stage for Shaki run away, he come, he come back now power, he begin hunt down people away, you know, hunt down uh, um, people and, you know, become political, all kind of nasty politics now, you know, started. You know, try for eliminate your position, try for, you know, all of this. So, so, Albert worse than uh, 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 Milti Magai, Shaki worse than Albert, Momo worse than Shaki, or maybe a little bit <laughs> Shaki. Then we don't, you know, it calm down, you know, Kaba was a little bit better in terms of the fact, say, not being so, himself not being corrupt, but he really, you know, himself not able to think far. Then he came out to where to get now, where in a sort of a combination of the worst kind, you know, if you put Albert and Momo together, now we we'll get so now, you know, and a little bit of Shaki and a little bit of Anesi manipulation. So, you know, it's all of that put together. So we are not going any further in terms of leadership. It seems we are just cursed. You know, so I go angrily. I will stop. Hey man, I, I need to come in, man. All right, yeah. I, come I, I don't call for coming because not not even say coming quicker. They cost me off after one minute or. So. No, and they cut your arm. This that's, privilege. That's you what we're right now. Remember, say we they negotiate with lights, not talk. Yes, we they negotiate with lights. I know. Can you get us off because you see the black camera? We get privilege now. Daniela, we all fault. We all want to be responsible for that. But if I go back to what I think I suffer from the blackout, not so that the president tell me, but that's not what I'm saying here. I, I, I don't get frustrated with a lot of what I don't say in terms of education, education, education. I want to take one thing for, grant, for, for seriousness, not for granted. If we can clearly remember, in the 80s, teaching was a middle class job in Sierra Leone. Right? Okay, so yeah, if teachers teacher all in life. If teacher mm -hmm. entitled to a middle class job in Sierra Leone in the eighties, mm -hmm. after the eighties, now we can begin make politics as a full time career. That's when we started to get things wrong. So I look at the intellectual class of what you would say then cause the problem at Sierra Leone, but I differ that to some extent because reason being, when we start for hell politicians then. When I begin members say, we begin dance and beat drum for politicians then. Now the time we come to begin sync. Because it means everybody now is now focused on becoming a politician rather than being a teacher. T-Boy, I want to let you hold on small I will allow you for finish. Hold on Mr. Jalo Jabari. I can't allow just continue to think T-Boy say. Yeah, no, I'm just want to add something on. I don't say earlier. Yeah. The class, the class of politicians will emerge after 1977. Uh huh. They were all highly educated guys. I, I will not say they were all highly educated. educated. Let us say the reason why they were not highly highly educated. But they are PhDs. Joe Jackson, oh. Abbas Bundu. AKK, well, etc. Not so many people that begin we that. Still, we still not be the beach gun for the AKK. Now they not be the beach gun. And Joe Jackson. No, we not be the beach gun. I was there. there. I saw it. T-Boy, T-Boy, T-Boy. Um, Una, allow me, please. So, the political and intellectual class, uh, Boy Jalo Jamboya highlights it. When the PhD holders, you said they mentioned now, they have like contests, the Abbas Bundus, and names like that enter into politics. Now, begin a problem that that you said justifies so because you say teaching. I not say enter politics, now we start with a problem. I no, you say, say you say, say, you say, you say the, the intellectual is, capacity of Sierraleans them in the late 80s. Uh -huh. They were not the class of intellectual that we get right now. So the yeah, but the timeline where the timeline where Mr. Boy Jalo Jabo give you mm -hmm. now around that same timeline they will begin get PhD holders where they enter into full time um, as career politicians. And you said don't okay. say you say teaching was a middle class job. We didn't have a problem then. Right up to the eighties and early nineties. Right up until but then when once we begin get people taking politics as a full time career. Uh, when at the same timeline Insef mentioned, he said that is when we started having bigger problems. Okay, my concern now is the then same people they also switch career from as in, from, politician, from, from, from being intellectuals, uh -huh. from being intellectuals to politicians, because uh -huh. now politics and politicians are then change the dynamics of how we look at the society today. 
but not to the same way we look at the society 50 years ago, 60 I years agree. ago, before politics become a career path. So basically, we are looking at the intellectual capacities of the politician the way come into politics. Now, politics changed the dynamics of education because education was still standard. Teachers were still middle class and in societies in Sierra Leone right up to early 90s. But for as long as we became guy, the teacher them now, the, the reholders them now, we switch and make politics a career, now the teacher will begin a problem. Because it means now politics becomes the teaching capacity of the middle class in Sierra Leone. Now the time politicians and begin get Mercedes Benz for drive, now the time and begin give them priorities. Politicians never used to have those priorities. Teachers were the ones with priorities. They may get teachers quarters. Now all the provincial towns in Sierra Leone. They may get teachers, um, 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 teacher they may get free medical facilities. They begin and they get free meals now school. So they had all the privileges. For as long as soon as we can begin to switch the privilege also to politicians, then the career path change. So now you go to school now, you don't go to school, you have to be a politician because you know say that is the new priority for you know, whether you are intellectual or not. Okay. So let's look at the people that will switch that capacity of being a teacher for being a middle class than politician where now can take the middle class place in Salon. Because okay. right now, so that, that brings you know, you the class of Yusuf Jalo and Karim because then to why I don't take on this new position where you take so okay because Yusuf Jalo in the one the the education has come. So Yusuf, <laughs> wait, wait till I comment so waiting T voice so and how that is responsible for equity country. Yusuf Jalo, are you there? Yusuf no you okay look yes, please yes. all right so let's go to Karim um Yusuf can you hear me? Yeah so um, I asked the question. I see you're yeah, waiting. T boy says, So I want to get you and Karim for come into this because you take a position, say the education system has come. So, one for see whether not the intellectual class, the political class, or who that not the intellectual and political class first. Low understand that. Wow. First, Karim said something which was very important. Karim mentioned about where are the new schools, the new Prince of Wales, and so on. That's what Karim said earlier on. Again, I will go back to the point where it's way, um, I think Karim said this as well, the lack of vision. Now, if we go back to the point again of this thing being a scam, is that the education system, if it was designed to build Sierra Leone, we will design a mindset of vision for build the next water dam, because we know for city population go grow, we know for say we go begin for focus for build the national dance troupe, but we did not. Instead, we scattered the place society. We scattered John Akai in building. We throw away all thing and God knows society dance troupe they delegate today. Same thing with the electricity capacity. We not develop nothing at all of that because we did not build a visionary group of leaders. In fact, anybody. We come for begin talk visionary kind of talk. Then he tell you say most kind Chris man is they say about who talk nine kill Bob Malio. But but those were not politicians, Yusuf. No, I'm coming. I'm coming now. They were not politicians was, then. Yes, but if we if 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 even we uh, okay go to what Mr. Mr. Boy Jamboria says. Mr. Boy Jamboria has talked about the educated, the intellectuals, right? Yeah, but we need to we need to differentiate who are see by, see by hold see by hold on give them chance I won't get the old for wait we need to differentiate the intellectual class who they tell talking about because yes. I don't know who they are okay, okay. so we well, ask the okay, question me, just hold on a bit I, I'll give not only not only recent intellectual class the class of the seventies and the eighties fine okay. that's what that's right. fine can I say can, can I also say that's that's really where I am going to. What you would experience today is merely the consequences of those people. So I'm not even looking at somebody today. Right. That's where I'm going to, right? Because those people set the tone. Mr. Jamboria talked about 1964 to 1967. Those 
particularly as we are so pivotal to the to what we are experiencing today. And we get for probably study that term in the very well as well, so that we understand. Even Karim, even Karim oh, talk oh, about that, that transition. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. That's a crucial period. We build a particular type of mindset, as, or shall I say, add to the particular mindset, but build on them a lot more. So when we're talking then of, of, um, of these people, we, of these intellectual classes, when are we talking of those who came into politics? Because we remember somebody mentioned the Abdul Karim Koromaz and all these other people who Pasheki brought. When you read Pasheki in book, in the biography, um, What Life Has Taught Me, Pasheki, with all in, with all the stuff there, he did say, he said, them people here are so well that say this have you book for the kind inside governments. Now wahala because they were so they don't understand the culture. The book for the Nongo land, not to for we system. But of course, he brought them because of the pressure, then come when they come and then see the amount of money we available inside the country and the amount of people that will not get any idea of that kind of money they will see though. Hey. You know, as Emma Singo say, Monku boss per matches, right? So these guys just went on a whole spree because we do people did not know. They never looked at the interests of the people, but that's exactly the British people, the colonialists who came in. That's exactly what they did. They saw diamonds, they saw the resources, they saw many things that we had, and they knew many of us did not understand the value and they took it pew, and they were going. The railway that they built came straight from upline, straight to Nawatasai. <laughs> They go abroad. We get the same system today, right? So what I'm saying about these particular sets of people that set the tone, they have the schooling system that they had, we need to deal with. We need okay. to totally do a proper overhaul of all of this. We see them right now as a, as a result of this whole scandal. You know, I'll, I'll give a quick, just a quick, a quick a, a story parable now. So this man go to a dentist. You probably, maybe you guys have heard me tell this one before, but I need to tell this story over and over. He went to this, he said, when then he said, me mouth the art. He said, be lie, he said, me say, they are big, they can check me teach them for me. Me mouth the art, the dentist says, okay, lay down. So he lay down, he opened mouth. The dentist look inside. Why is it, bra? He said, bra, you teach all fine, but you gum need for come out. So in other words, if you gum for come out, the very system we for hold the teeth them together is not working fine, it's rotten. That's what we have. It like na gold teeth now you try for push inside. In fact, the more you try for push them, the more pain you get. That's what's happening in Sierra Leone. The more talented young people are coming in to try to find ways to be creative and find ways, the more frustrated you become because the gum is not ready. The system is not ready to take in new innovative ideas. Mm. This is why many of us that's coming today we're learning new things because this generation right now is saying we have had enough of the of the colonial mentality. We now want to go back and begin to do things right. Okay. And when they go back, they find the um the mess is still going on. So this is why this is why I'm talking about the education system, because that is the base of the whole thing. How we how we deal with this mindset here. That okay. Is, Prince of Wales, why, look here, why are we still dancing match pass? Why are we still doing that? Mindy Banset. No, that's Matoma. <laughs> well, okay. well, no, what I'm saying is, um, Juma, all I'm just saying, yeah. I'm just trying to give an, an example here of where we need to be getting. <laughs> we, could, we, we could invest in buying our own local instruments for what play power we match past them instead of for spending money abroad and uh, much needed money isn't that how the the 300 million dollars disappear because we just go spend now why don't we invest that with we own band set them and and make them them band the better why don't we introduce the boo boo i bet you 100 percent Put that brass band, then put boo boo, let you see who's high school go good, they will go much past the bar. If not, okay. That's what the charge to the boo boo. Right. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, um, uh, Yusuf Jalo. Um, Yusuf Jalo say, Salon, na rotting gum, fine teeth. 
So, we're not in gun fights in any situation. For so, Karim, you know, he's mm-hmm. back and forth, intellectual, political class, then they blame that. I want you to take on this. Uh, because it looks um, like he gets a Yes, yes. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I think so it, it, it one for go down a, a rabbit hole for look at okay. one particular group, set of groups within, which mm-hmm. we will call the petty bourgeoisie, you know, if you, you know, um, all of this at independence, we, we, who that they all shall we into independence, you know, now the, now the petty bourgeoisie, the one that we land, like I say, uh, we within the civil service, maybe they serve the colonial government. So, um, you know, you get subdivisions within the petty bourgeoisie, but we could say in general, they not be get a vision for, for transform the country, you know, it's not a country side we get, um, maybe a revolution um, at independence when the workers then lead the revolution for bring about change. We now get a situation also the peasants or the farmers then lead, you know, you will call them the working class or the, the you know, the peasant class lead a kind of change of society. We get a, a smooth handover from the, the colonial masters to a selected uh, petty bourgeois where they don't groom, where they educate, and you know, most of them they emulate the white people, them and all that. So like I would all establish very well, like how you know, Yusifu and and um, um uh, Mr. Jalo Jambrada established this is the foundation of the problem, you know. So me go say now, um the major problem of this petty bourgeoisie, one of the worst things that we they inherit from the colonial government are these divide and rule tactics, you know, this tribalism where they can't learn from the weights man, they can realize a true tribalism they're able to conquer. We divide people they're able to conquer, you know? So they don't master that, and they don't extend and for that. Remember, at independence, the division will be get, not, just, not so between me there and Timineo. The division will be get at independence, now between Creole and country, you know? That was the division that was set by the, the colonialists. Of course, you know, you always be get the tension where they be also they try for create after the the the, the 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 war the first war of liberation you know uh, and we happen you know with Baibure in leadership because during that war of liberation day you get the peasants the way it was led by the peasants from the north you know the Temni peasants and the local peasants and the limba peasants then rise up against the colonial government and then link up with the Mende peasants because they had a common enemy somebody where they come for car take over their country, somebody they come for can, you know, force them for pay tax to exactly. foreign power, you know, but that's not lead to, you know, succeed, that they, which I mean, you know, lead to a revolution for kick out the colonialists. They, they lost, the colonialists consolidate their power through the use of force and all of that. So that continue. And from that end, the colonialists, they always use extreme violence and extreme force for subdue, you know, with people there. So up till now, you find out, say, the one that we didn't have power now, the petty bourgeoisie, they still get that mentality there. The police force is still groomed in that mentality there for suppress the people there. Can you imagine that? Teachers and a bow write a letter to the inspector general of police for say they want for old meeting. What did they do? They go hold them, then put them in a cell. This is the mentality of the colonial regime. You know, it's about domination, it's about control, it's about you know, crushing any small amount of dissent. You know, free tongue yourself, you know, teachers' uh, solidarity movement, go AYV, then go old meeting, then can't, police can't hang for them at all. As you come on now the radio program, then go arrest them. You know, so the ruling elites, the petit bourgeoisie, we take over from independence, they learn all the bad things them from colonialism. They don't be get any, what we call nationalism, you know, they not be get that nationalism for say for organize and mobilize with people them against foreign powers against foreign domination. Unlike say for example, example Tanzania, where in area take over if try for uniting people them use Swahili for me then come together. It creates a system for you know if you go if you go um, um, Tanzania, you know they see the kind of division based on ethnic group, different ethnic group that don't be presidents, you know, small group, people in the come up from small group, look now the Uma within our power, 
you know, not from a small group from you know Zanzibar. So, so I think to say the worst, the worst elite they will get, the petty bourgeois they will take over. They not be nationalistic, and they learn all the worst things them from the colonial regime when and they continue. So the police force, they get that mentality they for dominate for control instead of protect. They're not unable to make that move, that transition. Day. And that's because of the petty bourgeoisie. And from that petty bourgeoisie, they get the different elites, them, the, the political elites and all of this, and you know, all of that. So I feel to say if it's very important for me to understand that. When we see Yusuf Bangura, one uh, Salunian and political scientist, they talk, you know, he say he talk about how the um, the political class in a salon not allow the economic class for develop yes. because the, for example you take Sheki you know in government for me they not power and they all get this mentality they don't want for empower genuine business people then for grown at the country because they feel to say they go challenge their power so mm -hmm. they prefer for work with the Lebanese outside Lebanese outside as we, we not go ever stand for power they give them all the economic power and I think to say Yusuf Bangura very right in this analysis. Yes. We do, we, you know, maybe they do that. And it's a little bit on 50. You know, I think it was a very, very powerful analysis. We need for listen, listen to that. Unlike like Malaysia and Singapore, you get the politics. If you want interested in politics, you go into politics. You know, so we go into politics now for serve and you get a decent pension. If not civil service, you go civil service, you get a decent, decent pension. You go get O's. You go live a decent life like the politician as well. If you know a business you want for do, you know, you stay in the business, you develop your business, you get all the support, the political uh, uh, class, they provide the support, the banking system and everything for make sure so your business grow. But salon, the political class, they try for crush the local businesses, you know. We, uh, you know, so we have now a system where very terrible, where we not get genuine local entrepreneurs that they develop and maybe now they will start for develop because even the, the states not they allow that um, if you are a brilliant seemingly businessman for example you want to start a business on something unique let's say you know um you know for build housing you find out say if now the opposite party in a party they they, they they cross you you know because they can say you go on for help you know the other people and for take power. It's a one for take power. So it's, it's a this kind of problem we also get um very very serious. Interesting. Thank you so much, Karim, and thank you, Una all. So we don't reflect a lot. Um, it's more like how we continue now. So the how they how they say that on the game the babala, you know. <laughs> so they, they talk the big, and um, it left you with a lot for think about, a lot for process. A lot for question. So, Naya, we did now 61. Low look at Usa, we did now, and how they go before Mr. Boy Jalo Jamboya. Well, the, the process is going to take time, but one thing I get fit in Sierra Leone. I always tell and I say, I believe she Sierra Leone will change. Some of us have been in this game asking for change for most part of our life. Some of we, but change to waiting though. Change to waiting. For change to so a progressive, productive society. Because right now, what you will get now more of destructive consumption. The elite class sit down and the kapu kapu, then destroy it. Womanize, build houses, house na, na investment. But in a country like Sierra Leone, it's a way to tie up capital, a not a profitable venture. Other ways than they for doing. We need to go back to the drawing board. We go to the basics, set the structure for make we get a type of education. We go begin to instigate industry grade education, technology grade education. As I always say, the position of Sierra Leone on the Atlantic, if we get the pool of skilled labor, labor is the most expensive factor of production. If we get them, 
Not only we head of state, they fly plane for confident investor. We only need two things in Sierra Leone. Get the skill labor, get an ethical foundation in the governance system. Build trust. Trust. Now the most important thing in governance. And at the trust level, the investors then they look. Because investors now they go for go do charity, not to enjoy the good. If they go for go make profit, but at the same time, they get for trust, say, when I go put me money, there is safety of investment. You know, they go put money inside to my money, Allah, Allah, they be. They get for one commodity. Number three, I tell God, thank you, we'll get a new class of young people who they rise up with the consciousness. Listening to Karimba, listening to Yusuf, T-Boy, and I don't listen to several other people. I know say, a class is developing with that awareness that we have to do it for ourselves. Because that is what my generation lacked. My generation thought about, I have to do it for myself, not ourselves. We don't see change. It's not going to be overnight. The only thing is, we they pray God, let this crisis so deeper, not lead we to a bigger crisis. Because one thing I always get as a fear is the amount of or the level of divide in the country now. It's fearful. They make some of you even afraid for Gosalu. Honestly. I get a lot of things for Duna Sierra Leone. And I don't carry age. I get the ability for mobilize a lot of things that go benefit that country. But the divide in the country, you not know, they give me the courage for say go. Because I know they go risk me integrity and my life. Honestly. But I believe, see, from now to 2023, now the the Rubicon years for we. If God make we go through this crisis, some of us are going to come in quietly. How they go sit down in my village, Akoya? I'm not interested in politics. I don't pass that aid for go team up my platform for go talk politics. I they go sit down in my village. Karim then they would they keep company weekend. Now ideas they bring progress. And the ideas get for go along with trust and integrity. There is hope for Sierra Leone. No, no, lose hope. Okay. No, no, Thank lose. you so much, uh, Boy Jalo Jamboy. I'll go through that same question there to Yusuf Jalo, then Karim, and then we'll try for a roundup. Um, the well, now and the way for me, the talk today. No, family will keep our last minute. Then now we now we now we miss out. I mean, I'm I ain't come make the last thing. Now, now, Musa Tombo, we they bring and come in five minutes to give. Uh, over to you, uh, Yusuf Jalo. All right, guys. Um, after this, after this, of course, I'm going to have to leave you guys to yeah. carry on. Um, but what I'll say in conclusion, because with all of this, there has to be a solution. There has to be a way out. Again, I'll go say that we need to develop a national story. A national story where some people then go say a national curriculum, or if you like, a national uh, agenda, national thoughts. National thoughts. A national mm -hmm. thought. We need to develop one in Sierra Leone. One we give me a lot of inspiration but it give me an inspiration of of one way to make we look we safe and see the greatness within yeah it is not just because look when we when we look at our national anthem if anybody take time to read the national anthem it is in my view the most amazing anthem for any country in the world as far as I'm concerned. The lyrics, the looking at those words that were written down, amazing stuff. 
But that national anthem is not enough because it abstract. In other words, a no giri concrete vision of waiting we go look to for say waiting say hi we exalt thee show me an example of waiting don't do hi we exalt the land of the free well, now, I'm in bridge. <laughs> <laughs> no, now so now with that i will go to i will go to i will go to <laughs> if you want a visual for that <laughs> if you want a visual for that, I go take I go take what you had say earlier on in the program. We look at the images of Baibure and begin for the use these images as examples of people who did say hi we exalt the land of the free. Nobody know they can make a pay tax. You you want get out of Buddha that if you can tell me for pay tax. Now we we don't want to cut it for good say no, this is land of the free. We need for develop a narrative or uh, a story demonstrating, showing the examples of these people. Currently, now make a left the past, like come to the present. We also begin need for show the stories of the Sierra Leoneans who are doing amazing work within Sierra Leone. We need to highlight these people. We need to take them into the schools. They need to talk to our young people. They need to be engaged often so that these people will all help to show how it is done. We need for begin for make we understand clearly that um, nothing is wrong with you, the Sierra Leonean, per se, when I say nothing is wrong, but what you always they say, like I say, the teeth, they all fine. But if the gum not correct, then a problem. Make, we get, if in moving, you know, because in moving forward, we get for very, very boldly, very boldly, look, koro koro one, look at the system we organize this, and be brave enough for say you know it in now let we self be independent and we'll change this whole thing if we don't do this i'm afraid we're going to we can pick in and get for there then go the look we then go the cost we the same way we, we sit on now with the look that older generation and they tell them say they were this they were that we get now a, an opportunity an amazing opportunity with the social media where we get the amount of information where we get and when we talk of information let me understand what in that word they mean in formation inside formation when you are in form it means you are straight bro. you are firing on all cylinders because you are in form so we got to understand these kind of words and know how we apply them to ourselves. Finally, we must understand that no matter what kind of technology where you bring, no matter what kind of innovation where you bring, if that innovation does not develop the culture of that specific society, community, country, or person, forget it we're not going nowhere that technology could just they they go waste so it means we're going to have to evaluate we own culture where we get we need for family for quantify in value um of we culture we get and what is the science in beating butter what is the biology what is the ecosystem in butter what is the um design and technology in butter drumming it's there but we have to look for it. It's all technology. So if we are beginning to look at the education system, then we need to begin to understand the how we find the sciences. So I'll give a final example to highlight that one, then I'm gone. Is to look at somebody like Alhaji Njai, Professor Alhaji Njai, who does Project 1808 up in Kabbalah every year. Professor Alaji Njai is a scientist. What he does, 
he's opened a whole kind of like a, you know a, a, a schools kind of thing I, I would say where young people go to every now and then and he uses their local environment to teach them about science so when you say sparrow jara he will say bolo bolo and the children understand he has microscopes laptops everything and i was there in one of the labs working with some of his young people a couple of um years ago we need this kind of innovators to be able to come on board and we have them as Sierra Leoneans. we have many of them so in moving forward these are the kind of things i think we need to be able to piece together but all of this has to be surrounding the culture and it has to connect with it there cannot be a hiatus between what we say is development and then what is culture both of them have got to be together sync all righty thank you so much yusuf jalo as always and we're happy to have you back and hope say the salient traumatic disorder no go affect <laughs> You might the post traumatic disorder no go have it too much. We need to get you back here soon. Um, let me go to Karimba and I know say Karim they listen because they get an agenda for wait when say I learned the hundred years. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so this girl uh, um Karim don't ask the question how we get for movie and that till we reach and that's hundred years. So over to you, Karim. Um Culture. I like the discussion on culture because uh, like, I, like how um, um, Yusuf Jalo say, culture should be the basis of a transformation. Therefore, look inwards, look where to get to build on that. I don't mean to say we only learn from other people, but it has to be based on our own institutions and our own method of thinking and where till we get. Um, in terms of going forward. Um, I agree also with the way we talk about we need for get a narrative change. There's a lot of talk about narrative, you know, is a big word. A lot of people they talk um, even presidents say we can have power in the in big they go fly so that we change the narrative. And I think say you know it's in a narrative. You know. So narrative is really about story, the kind of story we make we would have been a salon or who that we think to say we be. I think that the narrative of who that we think to say be is flawed. It's based on a false narrative, which we start with, with uh, 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 Pedro da Senta. Pedro da Senta say, you know, man come, he drunk, you know. You know them first and see man, they are always drunk. Come, you see uh, uh, mountain, he say, if you buy lion, I want to know it, if you did, I eat. For me, see, say if you buy lion, we the turn at the crack, he say how now the now the lion the roar, we the lion in the roar, now the race. So no lion, no the free tongue, man. <laughs> it's not a habitat for for lion. But you know, we are just so we don't so take that that narrative there for build on them. We don't forget we own history and we own culture. So uh, like how like how um, everybody don't say for change. We need a radical, or maybe say, being revolutionary mindset change. We will link up with culture and narrative change. We also need a kind of long-term vision. We bring me to this idea we we discussed last year. I tell you, but you know, um, um, Yusuf Jalo Dede and the group, uh, Mr. Jalo Jambori Dede, we need some wise heads them for also David we for get. Big vision because if we not get a big vision, Usana won't go. People are not they follow now. When I will just stay one place no more, they, you know, when I do it, when I do, but I don't know how so they go. So, like I talked earlier, the lack of vision. So, now in drive with or think about how we go generate we own vision from below. And you know, citizens, ordinary citizens, for come together, we discuss ideas only for doing like how for be done doing because of. We all work and also lack of resources, you know, we're not getting resources for go around the country, but we for all like for go around the country. But still the discussions we don't get so far very nice. We can use that for start for build that kind of vision, at least for say let's say it's always along the one hundred, we've been at twenty sixty one. Um you are not sure whether they're alive yet, so maybe we're not they're alive, but at least let's have a vision right. for we, I mean, it's a way we want for see at that time. When we go start for build, 
and we'll right. hopefully other people will take up from there. So um, I think so, so we need that, and it's very, very important. If we don't get that, we don't get able for reach day. You know, people are not able for see who saw one for God. People in need for picture, a kind of vision of salon in their mind, and then for accept them. When they accept that kind of thing, they're not able for walk towards that. Otherwise, we are just, uh, um, you know, we just say talk, talk to ourselves. There is one French philosopher who say, if you want for, if you want for, a uh, build ship. Don't come and haul people around. Tell them, "Una go carry with stick. I want for build ship. Would they go to this water? This water, una see so define to them. You know, they go there. Una carry build ship. Una carry with wood. With this carry this. He say just tell them no more about the sea. How it is, how it powerful, how it's so immense. Now they say they go find tick and come say look and build the ship. No self go see. You know, so it's that kind of thing. The vision sets the stage for more create. And that lacking in leadership, even the current one will get. You listen to an independent speech. It's more about, you know, you know, uh, point scoring, political gimmicks, and all of that. So you don't, you don't have that person. We get that kind of vision. And we always they talk about the leadership. We get lack of leadership, but also we are citizens. Citizenship. We not forever allow the running of the country to a few people. Like we, you know, uh, we held that to talk about the intellectual class. But all of us are citizens. We should not leave the running of the country to a few group, group of people. Say, well, don't elect to now, you know, then, then go do whatever they want for do until next election, they will go change. No, we for be involved in everyday running of the country. We for ready for say no to certain things where they happen. We for ready for, that's real citizenship. For example, waiting, uh, uh, um, lawyer Augustine Sori Sengbe do where he mm. puts the Inspector General na 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 na, na Supreme Court for say where he ban we during the during uh, elections day for commoner do a wrong idea against the country. These are the kind of we need for take a, a notch higher. The legal method day, the you know the writing day, the shouting day, the peaceful uh, um, um, actions and they work he use for for vent out. But the, the people already at the top, they always they try for suppress we, for more not get the zeal and the mind for speak out, for, you know, they say, no, if you listen to JJ Safawe, come, they say, six months, we don't fix, and then they say, no, one year, we don't set, and then they say, no, no, no. In fact, now five year mandate to get. So, and, and uh, Jules Lejala also talked something about that, where he say, uh, uh, they're not one, they're not they give you chance for rule. You know, we don't need to give chance. If we put you some side, you know, you just don't want like you put you employ cleaner and you owe for can clean. You know, it clean, you know, it clean one side more. He left the, the table and the chair, they're all dust dead. He can say, hey, but me man, clean this side. Now we tell I tell you, say, don't you answer no more, clean this side, you know. Clean the, you know, you get for guide them. So the people that they are part of this entitlement, this feeling say now then are then are the boss who get for pull up for them. We get for make them know say now we are the boss now we employ them and we're able to do that through constant and active citizenship by challenging issues by being part of the change by taking risks for saying no we don't want this to happen no now this we want to happen you know imagine we not get water and light somebody grabs a one bill and uh, uh, lunge bridge even if we get the resources at that moment for bill lunge bridge that's not the priority mm -hmm. we have electricity for days we have water we have this thing so then can, you know, all Chris man can come and say one for do things. So we the citizens get for stand up and band together. Like where teachers and they, they come together now, they say they demand living wage. Now for we all, we good. Yeah. You will say, oh, me not a teacher. But maybe you get a brother when a teacher, you get a sister when a teacher. You pick it in the go school. You, you know, you grand pick it and get for go school in the future. So is your part of your citizenship for support that, you know, help them for raise funds, contribute. For me, they succeed because once they affect me, when a group of people then stand up for something, uh, uh, we the citizens, the rest of the they isolate them. And when you isolate them, they don't get that support. They're weak. They yeah. they give up. And then the leaders they always get that say ah they go shout shout say they are tired. But then see say we they push them or maybe they, if they sack them, you know they afraid say they go sack them. And see say even in America people then you know they stand up for something. Other than citizens they give them money in the West. Then they give them money. Okay, you are an activist. For fed for we for this, we believe in it. We the work who no go join the party fed, but they give money. You do this full time, you know. 
That's how we need to do. If you're not this alone self, you can will contribute. The teachers, then with the Fed, the solidarity, teachers, solidarity movement, we should all contribute if they have a fundraising. We should be part of it if we are not joining them in the streets or whatever. But this is the kind of citizenship we're going for change with country. So I will, I will stop and ask me on all contribution. Right, well, thank you so much, Karimba, for your contribution. Lago to Femi and T-Boy now. Um, um, Femi, uh, the foot of state don't carry is in a lamina sanko. So one for your lamina sanko a your contribution today. I will get for go before then T boy then we round up. Oh, then I mean you call lamina sanko. Not to me, oh, now the now the foot of state now is in a lamina sanko. Okay, so if I may come in before you say something, sir, lamina <laughs> sanko gets a good history. Oh, no, no. But we'll go talk um, later. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you. Like on a similar lamina sonko. Um, Juma, one challenge you. You know it's a lamina sonko in in actual name. No. Oh. Eh, hey, I go say no. Hey, you are. You say the challenge. Hey, I ask you a question. No, you can't say no. We ask question. I hear you know. Okay, Tibo Isabi. You know, some, either John or Jones, something? Uh, he John was or Jones? Ethel, Jones. Jones, Jones. Nat, Jones, okay, Nat, right. Nat Jones, eh? Nat Jones, eh? Ethel Dredd. Ethel Dredd, Nat Jones. Nat Jones. Or Nathaniel or something like that. So mm-hmm. sometimes we come in at the one who going to kill man at the gun. I'm going to see. <laughs> Mina la mina sanko. Okay. Ale fangiuna. Ale fangiuna. Today on. Tomorrow we'll go talk to Andy, but today on another argument. <laughs> so yeah, so um I've I've sat here, I've listened, I don't learn Boku, I don't agree with Boku points, I don't disagree with Boku points. You know, I want to begin um for me when I ask question about education, um education, education. Um I think say we we teach us them we they sorry for the special way to go school now, but we teach us themselves get small blimp and this thing. I remember when I've been to go school from primary school to secondary school, some of the teacher them awaited and teach me and the values they them put for me I hold till today. You know, our leaders are what they complain about were once taught by somebody. I think say so, we teach them say get for take responsibility as the kind of knowledge where they put now we um now we eat them and we picking the age them. You know, it's it's you have to be responsible. We'll get for begin teach you begin and say <coughs> politics isn't the isn't the bait. You know, not so all seen na politics. We need for begin show them other ways. And we'll get for begin tell and say yes, we know say finance is not day in the teaching profession. But it's not it's it's more for calling than a than a job. You know, we'll get for begin make nurses them realize say or people that young people and realize say you can go into into nursing you know you can go become a doctor for a reason you can go become a lawyer not so because you uh, you be lawyer means say now for land no more or property no more or corporate work no more you go to be a lawyer for you can be a lawyer you can be a free lawyer for empty people them we get so many people away they um languish na pademba go the other prisons them around around the world we um need somebody in help what i'm trying to say is we need for begin learn for put certain things them i think it's not useful to talk right so we for begin putting the inside we eat them for make we realize um how we country for better now we all job we can't leave it to the politicians as Mr. Bassi just know, now we all work as civilians or as citizens. We suppose for do or for play, we own parts from this year. So, so um, I don't know who that been talking. Say, you go, um, I think they say girl school, you go convent. That's how I be you, Juma. I don't be no, you go learn school and do. Not to me, I used to jalop in the highlights. See, he go learn school and there, he go prince of fools. Not no do like petting under the shake kitchen where they see one fuller man, they say one come on, I win a CID, they do the common out with and call other fuller man and say an encounter. Well, not, not to me false, really and truly, the fuller than a um, na minority in a salon. But now this program, I think so, na the majority. So not to me false if I can't fit to na all. 
you know, not blame me for that. But um, you know, it's been an interesting show. Um, today's our independence. Over the years, um, we don't go from celebration to reflection. Today has been actually a sad day for a lot of us because um, you know, we not see the salon who the who the um who the hope for see. Over the I wanna say over the years, no, over the decades, you know, we keep wishing, keep wishing, keep wishing. For seeing our great grand picking and go see this salon who they pray for. You know, it it, it is incredible say salon don sixty one today. And all we did talk here so really and truly um now what's happening, you know, how did we get here? Why did we get here? There's very little good to be said about Sierra Leone. You know, um, Karim said just you now, um, Oweka Aleon, he said the reason why he did not come earlier now because of blackout. He gave you the story of the events where he may talk, but fine, fine talk them, but salon this morning and the light caught Panam. I mean, Oscar embarrassment is handy. I have said the time in memorial to, to some of whom I say, you know, Oscar had the work, I sit down one day, um, I, I'm working, we get a big, massive event. And and then begin to talk about certain countries them around the world where um they can't do business in the presenter they talk about Andy. It's a certain country and they were in, in, in company can't do business in because of corrupt practices. And he named Salon. And Salon be the right almost at the top of the list. And we talk so on man turn look me. You know, we should we should we guess for begin ready for move to a better way. You know, we get for me people and they look with country and see different in it, not to all turn the bad. You know, today is our independence. We should be celebrating it. But a few people then they ensure say we majority of the country cannot celebrate it. Majority of the country then get blackout on the day like a today. Water no day. And not to say we go say okay, well, water no day today, but next year water go day because they're working on this project we go bring water cam we go bring light cam we don't know it's like a deep well we don't know what in tomorrow bring we know the walk towards tomorrow we keep doing the same same mistakes them day in day out and wishing for better we can't be doing that we get for begin put things them in place so that if it not be today if me not able for siam make a notice sometimes me picking go siam or me grand picking go say, but right now I not get no hope say me great grand picking and say go see the salon with me once. And yeah. that's what's um really, really sad. What really, really the the monami. Okay. Well, thank you so much. T boy over to you. Um last uh, word for today program. I think I don't see don't don't listen a lot, learn a lot, and I believe say most of what thing we don't discuss today. Now for reflect, but not just reflecting on 61 years back, but also highlighting some of the concerns that we have to say the country don't go through over these years. Um, me get my own view on how I see the whole discussion and how the discussion go. Like I said earlier on, I think the intellectual class, yes, at some point, don't devalue what education really stands for in Syrian. But I will not put a total blame on the intellectual class, but I will put that blame on the classes that change the transition from being intellectuals to politicians. From the time we will make politics a full-time career job, that the time we lost the plot in terms of how much value and premium we put in education and what we mean for represent the communities then. Like I say, teaching has always been a forefront career job in civil union for years, in, even, even possibly now. Now, one of the most, um, now the most credible platform we will employ more people than any other platform so far when it comes to implementing civil union. But if we look at the problem we'll get right now and the crisis of how we're going to go, um, I think we're not going to be able to find a solution instantly. Like everybody say, let's think. I left the Karim Bale ideology of 100 years looking forward to it. And I said to Juma, um, possibly some of you know, we will not for see that for happen. But can you know we can clearly say we can for set the platform for me to right. we stop look other people and continue for make sure we see salon better within the next 40 years possibly to come. 
And I think if we go back and forth, back and forth with all the discussions, there should be a pivotal point where we will begin to recognize what in that the cause of what in make we begin go down the drain in terms of bringing in all the different things they would all highlight. But me personally, with all the discussion we don't get today, I get few statements from make. For as long as we get a president with the council, we say everything we you don't say it do na salon, it don't do an in abundance, it don't create lights. Now almost all the provincial towns then in Sierra Leone, they get water with the supply almost every part of Sierra Leone with water bouncers. It gets infrastructure where it don't create we na first of its kind na the world or ever been done within the past four years. And it gets so much we don't do in terms of education. We don't make education the same compared to all other leadership we don't kind of salon within four years. After listening to all his messages of Independence Day today, I realize say, we still get a long way to go. More than a mile for think of. And if we can sit down and listen, and we get people in a salon, when able for challenge messages like this, we the president the gi for the nation. And at the end, I don't know how the tape starts or how it ends, but for Motin Ayeri from the beginning to the end, and not even wish the nation happy Independence Day. That shows the level at which and not even concern about the people. Now for just giving lip service and bring down political strategy of voting in fee, say the people they really salon up for Yeri. Now that's to tell me. So not even wishing the civil unions then within our salon or all over the world happy independence day in the beginning of his speech to the end of the speech shows how much value then gets for we as civil unions. So to me, if we begin to look at politicians as role models in society, we get for give credit to the one they way ready for serve the people of civil union. But for as long as your intention is not to serve the people of civil union, it's just for your own personal reason why you go into politics. I think we should begin to look at them like uh, they don't really exist. And we got for make sure say that doesn't really happen by making sure we vote the people that we feel say could deliver for we. And if they fail to deliver, we kick them back out again by the voting box. But personally, from today and forth, I will not celebrate Sierra Leone independence anymore because I think there is nothing to celebrate. There is nothing to be proud of. There is nothing to actually look at to see this is what I have gained. My age, I gained independence from my family possibly about 30, 35 years ago. I haven't been the same person from that time to now. Sierra Leone has gained independence 61 years ago. Everything that has been discussed that we used to have 50 years ago, or even before independence, we don't really have any more. So we're not even climbing up the ladder, we are sinking down. So why do we need to celebrate? Why do we need to highlight this particular day if it is of no meaning to us? You're growing old and you're not making any difference in your life. Are you happy to celebrate your birthday when it comes? No, because significantly, you don't see the need to celebrate because you haven't made any strides from the previous years to the current state at which you are. So as far as I'm concerned, I want to extend me gratitude, not wish anybody happy independence, but extend me gratitude to those that have taken their time to listen to us tonight. I want to pay special tribute and respect to people like George, Robert, Dean, Pat, Baka, Femi, Aisha, and a few more others within the YouTube group with the interesting conversation where they don't come up with and how they go back and forth with the banter. Very interesting. I will left the one they waiting at the YouTube now, now Facebook for them to my giving that credit day because he's been the one that is always interacting with them. But I want to say thank you very much to the um, panelists, Yusuf Jalo, Dr. Boy, not to Dr. Boy. I I don't see what's the doctor where you go. Why are they afraid the doctor is? Doctor. Juma, let just let just say one more thing, just one minute. Yes, go ahead. Can you? Yes, yes, let just say one thing. I mean, we uh, Tibo did talk about 
who's I with you right now? And and um, you say as as you know, you, you grow up, you know, you celebrate your birthday, then there is no progress in your life. Somebody want me, want me, big brother can talk this. They say, so imagine you then put on all school together. You know, because some people get this idea, I say, oh, but Salo, they grow, at least they make move, you know, they improve, you know, this not be there, don't get this and that. You say, imagine if you go to school and put on all class one, here you copy them. Then you copy and don't finish college, you still lay class five. Then you pass go class six. Tell me if you go, if you people and go glad for you, then go dance for you, say you don't pass go class six or you don't pass go from one. You come in the college. <laughs> so yeah. I just hang on it. <laughs> that, that's a good one. Thank you so much. You see, um, the analogies there and the story that we they use for, you know, highlights the big problem na the na, na salon. You know, Iboku, we can say we country, unfortunately, na like a rotting close. You know, we try for so and I and chair, we so and I and chair. So now that level they would on the rights now. But oh, we yeah. don't talk with top camp. No way. Yeah, no way. No way. No way. Well, but then there you go. They, um, you know, you know, we're close. I rather leave the kid and I wear close. We any such of the DJ. Okay, cool. So we don't talk. We we'll talk. Um, and um, a lot of points and things for reflect on. We don't get a lot of information. You know, and it don't open the conversation. And one way we will for push the country go before now for engage in the conversation talk about them, um, ask questions, challenge the issues them. And Karim highlights them very well, say, the country, not for the, in the hands of few people. Um, disturbing for see the African Express, um, you know, the short, short uh, 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 publications them on this same teacher issue. We don't talk about, we don't talk a lot about education here and 30 are the problem. How you will go get 230 poli- political appointees the what you call them the rent allowance just the rent allowance then 230 political appointees they they what you call them they're responsible for 28,839 teachers then salary this not so they 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 them political appointees then they not so then salary this is an extra allowance where they say bunya you understand eh? where the service man can say that na the so you know, we join the gear and I can't come out like how T boy can say it's not can come out. 230 political appointees, then your allowance no more within the get. Go able for pay 28,839 school teachers. How many school teachers do we have in Sierra Leone? How many? Then today, yes, sir, Mr. Jarrod. I think they can go there between 40 and 60,000. Up to 92, we are 28,800. Right. So you don't see now. So um, the 230 political appointees, just their rent allowance, will take over 28,839 um, school teachers and salary. So then a half of the teaching mm-hmm. uh, uh, population that. So imagine how many more teachers will be employed every year, how many more nurses, if you cut down on them unnecessary salaries, unnecessary suit of office, unnecessary per diem, unnecessary V8 vehicles, that you go back, you the green camp every day, they road not there for drive them. For waiting. Today, um, uh, um, African Express make a comparison with salary. The, um, admin assistant or office assistant and salary in the National Electoral Commission. The oh, salary, messenger, messenger. Messenger. The okay, cleaners. Now, <laughs> yeah, the cleaner, the, the messenger, the boy boy in salary. Mm. He passed now two times waiting the teacher and the principal, some principal and then they get to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is sad. Mm. It is so, so sad. If messenger, they get 3 million, then teacher, they get 1.5 million. It is sad. So, Looking at all this, there's so much for do, but one um, thing I know they pick loss. We all get for come together and work together and no try for fetch the wrong people because we keep blaming all oh, the teachers, they want us on a two leg but put up, oh the una una the counter they grumble, una left the government for rule. The government they tea free money, then they go buy fake degrees them, then can then give themselves title, then they increase their salary. 
that teacher not get the opportunity. I agree with him, Femi, say, they're the teachers them for teach, they picking them and instill some values in them. But the teacher not when they make the curriculum. One. And if the, how the teacher will convince that school picking, say, focus and, you know, try for be a teacher, where you don't see the politician in less than two months, it don't be three houses them. Whereas in the teacher, where they go to school, they pick school picking there for laugh and say, get bus or a sister link. Or the teacher not even get us for tap. Now somebody in pala in his sleep. We we lock we next don't come. He prayed na gone in the dust. These are realities. Whether you like it or not, these are realities. Or they live na or they live na pan body don't be. Exactly or pan body mm. don't be. So these are the realities out there. Let we try for come together as a nation and work for we country. On that note, um, we we'll say thank you to na all. And of course, we hope for get Karimba and, and the and team Nayaso for continuing the conversation and um, the pathway for you know the vision we they want for Sierra Leone in the next hundred years. Thank you all so much and stay blessed where you are and they'll continue the reflection and continue the conversation. Karim, before I go, um, it's Independence Day today. You mm -hmm. smell jollof fresh, you see smoke. Oh my, I don't smell no jollof fresh. No, because first time, at least we go say, okay, let's go to family. There's family, they think jollof fresh till they go eat. Now, independence, no, yeah. so, so, um, yeah, yeah. some, some, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I visit some older people that today and tell me, say, independence. So, they explain to me during you know, when they grow up independence, they say, they say, they host that day. they then they, all the picking they get soft drink. We don't yes. know. You don't say first, then can shave them half half. Yeah. One bottle now, two picking in the shower. So they, they all picking they get soft drink. You know, when they explain to me, it's so different. I don't get no meaning again because people are not really interested. Yeah. You know, and, and the hardship and all of that. Certainly, the people they cook independence, a lot of food. You know, people they eat a lot, picking and they get one whole pint of drink to themselves. And they all don't, don't pull. So it is sad. Yeah. T-Boy t -boy, t -boy and Fallen self way be they look forward for independence. They when they kill the fall, T-Boy and I they get the end because I they go kill the fall. <laughs> fall not they die again. So. <laughs> I don't smell that to me. I love to try. I love we change that place. Wow. I love to try. Yeah, it is sad. All right, well, thank you so up. much. Well, we will do that the background and continue and we will say good night to Fambu Lem. Stay blessed wherever you are. And for the Muslims, we will not see end of Ramadan. Almost. And I hope say at least if we not get um jollof rice today, sometime maybe we will get cassada leaf at least. <laughs> Good night. I mean, I mean. So today is the launch event for the 230 year anniversary celebrations. It's been an amazing day. It was meant to be a two hour program, it was somewhat extended, but I think, you know, no one was complaining too much. Um, so we had an excellent performance by the University of Sierra Leone Drama Group. We had Gwyn J. Allen singing a Freetown song. Then we went into the panel discussions. Um, really rich historical accounts, some focusing on women um, in the past, uh, icons and the, their influence, um, others focusing on Freetown today, making the comparisons. Um, the discussion from the audience highlighted air issues around preservation of our heritage buildings, as well as, you know, social economic cohesion um, which you know and, and issues around land tenure and land reform so it's been really really engaging and then we had a brief um, um, keynote for myself we are celebrating because we have achievements but we're celebrating also because we're alive because we're here and for as long as we're here we always have hope of a better future and that hope is being able to see that there's light even when we're surrounded by darkness. Because as we celebrate 230 years, we're not just saying this is our past. We are 
regaining, rebuilding our energy, energizing ourselves for a future, and that needs hope. Um, so we close it off with a fantastic song by the eminence artist Drizzlick Blessing, Ray J, and Mellow Seven. Um, and I, we just like, you know, I've got this big smile on my face because we've all been dancing, and it's just been such a great way to kick off the celebrations. Really excited about the next few days. Hold lots of work. Huge thanks to all the team, all the committee members, Mr. Smith, and everyone who's been involved in this. They've done a fantastic job. Um, and and so much more to come. So Freetonians, get ready. So today has been absolutely amazing. Um, the second day of the 230 year anniversary celebrations. And today it's been about women and girls because it's International Women's Day. So we've actually had a symposium, amazing young women on the panels. Um, speaking about things as diverse as climate change, innovation, and importantly, their vision for the participation of women in Freetown in 30 years from now. Um, I also had the opportunity to share some thoughts. We talked more about what the barriers are in their lives, barriers um, such as financial, uh, focus on you know, distractions, um, sex, wanted, or unwanted as well as social media but significantly we landed on what every girl needs to know that she has to believe in herself that she can be anybody that she wants to be and she can do anything that she wants to do if she has that self-belief um, and if she's able to ensure that she gets her education and is not taken off the, the, you know, doesn't stray off the path or is moved off the path. So on that note, we also spoke about safe spaces and support structures and support systems. So today, 230 years of Freetown was narrowing in on a huge asset to our city, and that is our women and girls, and making sure that they have the safety, they have the encouragement, and they have the support that they require to fulfill their ambitions, and in so doing, Pro propel and project our city forward. Who's going to be the next mayor in the next 20 years? My name is Chief Matthew Kiba Young. I'm the Mandate Tribe Head Western Area, and I'm also the Secretary General Council of Tribal Heads. Well, today is the celebration of the 230 years of the arrival of the first batch of slaves in Sierra Leone. You know, Dr. Joseph Samson, former Minister of Agriculture, Forest and Food Security of Sierra Leone. Very eventful uh, day, uh, full of a lot of various culture from all the tribes in Freetown, about 17 they say, all have come to display their, their dressing, their music, their dancing, all of it. Tina Cummings, Mina, the recently elected president of Creole Descendants Union Freetown. Oh, there's a lot of love and, and togetherness in the air, and I just hope say, it will continue so. Because as Freetown, as people of, of Sierra Leone, we really, na people there where we lack we self and we lack we country. So I just believe, say, this, this celebration is a celebration of unity, it's a celebration of love, it's a celebration for, say, we are all one people and we're here for one purpose. <laughs> The 12th 
five tribes are together and there is no tribalism at all. There is that cohesiveness. Very historical events. Remember the time where Sanun be day in day, Freedom be day in day, and then Kainti be the happen at the country. All the ethnic groups, then, all the tribes in Sierra Leone, then they bring the, them people in, then they come march around the, the free town. So, now very historical, and I'm happy for today. Why I see a member of the past, you see. So, we we'll tell them all, thank you. <laughs> Um, people have really entered into the spirit of celebrating our traditions, our music, and our culture as we walk through the streets of Freetown. We started right here at the City Hall. We walked along Wallace Johnson Street, up Walpole Street. At that point, I was seriously thinking, are we going to be able to make the whole route? <laughs> because it was hot, but the energy was fantastic. All that mattered was that we were all together having a fantastic time demonstrating the unity and um, the beauty there is in unity, the beauty there is in diversity and our ability to collectively uh, enjoy our city um, and as we are looking forward with this theme City of Freedom, City of Hope, um, to demonstrate in a really tangible way you know how how energizing and how exciting it is when we all walk together and literally walk together. I've got sore feet, but I'm really happy. Today, na day four of the 230 year anniversary of Freetown. And today we get different activities all around remembering and reflecting. This afternoon, I've been there on an online symposium where we link up with academics, um, we link up with people them of the Gullah heritage, even people in Nova Scotia. So we've been getting our symposium day, culture connections across the waters that we focus on. Tonight, we're in one of the oldest churches in Freetown. St. John Maroon Church. The Maroon people them, they may come after the Nova Scotians, but they set up this church here and we decide, say, for use them as the center or the venue for the vigil. We know say that three sets of people and come in freedom. You get the you get the Nova Scotians, you get the Maroon, and you get the captives. In in in, in 1897, nine the captives and come. And when they come from government 12, they assemble like 43, then sing and pray to God. So today this vigil will get, now the eve of the celebration of the 230th anniversary of Freetown. And waiting it depicts today, a member Usa will come out. Where we people then come, where they both land in the government 12, all that place in the bush, now they fend their way to the land. And when they come to the land, they meet people then be already there in the land. Where then we don't tell them say that they can't give them. So this net we're able for reflect 230 years, what we people then go through. You know go believe some man go know. Say when them people them they enslaved freed formerly enslaved Africans, they mean get onto them 15 ships them. Now Halifax to Scotia for calm salon. Some of the communities they don't mean get a message quick. So some of them don't mean cut onto the boat. So the one that we've been left behind. They still they in touch with family members them, generations down where they free town. So today we received two letters from some of them community then they we get contribution from the Gullah people, but importantly bringing it back to this time in this point in time. As someone whose family and lineage is from South Carolina, the Charleston Seacoast, the Gullah people, we are directly related and directly close to our heritage here in Sierra Leone. We carry the traditions with us. 
We carry the rice with us. We carry the language with us. So we are very still closely connected. And so I reflect and I say that I am a survivor of what they tried to take away and take across the sea. I am now back. I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. Because so many generations ago, I was taken away and now I'm back. This is my first time here in Sierra Leone. My first time in Africa. So I thank Mama Salone. We also yay from Ebola survivor, 6th of January survivor, mudslide survivor, and Wellington fire explosion survivor, because the history of Freetown, not so just the far away history, now the history way just day behind the corner, and important for way we reflect and look beyond, in order for let we look before, we bring everybody into that story day. So today don't be very, 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 very emotional. You know, some of the stories can be very painful, but also inspiring. And we conclude the evening by doing a candlelight procession down Percival Street, up uh, uh, Lamina Sanko Street. We go round the cotton tree, and as I mean, pray, when we first come in 1792, we get out together as council, as councillors, as staff of council, with Freetonians, Creo Descendants Union, we all come together representing the totality of Freetown. We see we, with all of everybody in our hearts, remembering the joy of the cultural parade yesterday. We bring, remember all the people them, and we pray for Freetown. The mayor, the councillors, the entire song of the city council, of course, we are all Plutonians. Uh, let go put blessing for we. Amen. Let go make all land together for two city the well I expect them. All the challenges all the face as a city. Let go push apart from we. Now get unity. Now get the, the good things to look for. This day today in blessing. Make it church with all so that the beginning from tomorrow, we'll go look at the at 230 30 years one day. Now get peace and tranquility for God before for the city. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Muhammad. Amen. Lord, bless all of them and their good intentions and plans for the development of this city and the welfare of its people. Send your blessings on all men, women, and children who live in this wonderful city. <laughs> The interfaith ceremony is about thanking God Almighty for successfully seeing us through 230 years of existence. On behalf of our worship, the mayor, councillors, and staff of Freetown City Council, and indeed the funding of Freetown Celebration Committee, I wish to again welcome you all here and have a pleasant day. Well, today, na ina the birthday. 11th of March 2022, 230 years since the founding of Freetown or the day we choose for celebrate when at the day we 1196 of them one day with them not free from slavery we come on 15 ships them they come the land of Freetown they can on that boat day they can meet up with the one day we don't they the ground already we'll be able to make them get land when it starts that of waiting at today, modern day Freetown. Today, we don't come for tell God thank you. We get an interfaith service. we in a display of the diversity where we don't express and show through the cultural engagement. We also today say, we know we're gonna mosque Friday, we cannot church Sunday, no. Let we all day together. So today we get an interfaith service where collectively we give thanks and praise to God for this day. It don't be a great celebration so far. A celebration we focus on we history, we focus on we challenges, on we pain in the past, but most significantly we focus on the fact say together we can build a brighter future. We tell God thank you for 230 years. I say happy birthday, Freetown, and congratulations to all Freetonians. Let God continue for bless 
we city let god continue for bless we lives Oh, keep on the moving, moving, moving. Oh, moving. Oh, we keep on the moving, moving, moving. I adore the Lord, I adore the Lord. This is the official celebration of Freetown City at 230 years. Freetown is the oldest city in Sierra Leone. Yeah, and Freetown is one, one of the oldest cities across the Sahara. Yes. But, uh, no, 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 Are you ready for the party? Are you ready for the free song party? Free song at 230 party. Are you ready? Now we need more. Nothing else to prove. God, the people, then they move. Then they move. Then they move. We're moving. 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 We
uh, um, we get the waste collectors, the one where they collect dirty, the one where they walk their cows with the tricycles. We get persons with disability. We get Uraige, we get so many different groups them waving dinner here today. And all of them show we say, oh, oh yes, one very, very important one, the Slum Dwellers Association. And we, we work out with the bands, we work out with the bubu, with the councillors and all of we guests. The mayors, the mayor of Monrovia, the deputy mayor of Kanife in the Gambia, the Rotary fishers, people that always have can grace the occasion. It has been a spectacular event. We waka, we sing, we dance, and we just come for conclude back at the city hall in just Thanksgiving, 230 years. Now, a reason for celebrate, in spite of all the challenges where the city gets. And I believe, say, at this point in time, it's so important for let we know, say, we're sitting and we all get some. I thank God for the privilege and honor of being the mayor of Freetown at this momentous time. Now, indeed, a privilege. And I hope, say, by God in grace, this celebration go go down in with history at Freetown City Council. Seven days, seven days of working together, talking together, reminiscing, reflecting, and most importantly, joining hands for a better future. Because where we get unity, where we're able to celebrate with diversity, that the beginning of the transformation where we need. We, that is building, FCC, we do work for Transform Freetown. We don't do work and we go continue for work. But an important part of all we really do in our cultural heritage. And I'm glad to say we've been getting this opportunity in celebrating 230 years, celebrating with people overseas, celebrating with people at home. We get this opportunity to bring out with cultural heritage, the richness of the city, of the peoples, of the, of the memories, of the history, of the stories. We talk about God, thank you. I gladly, I gladly. And I thank all Fritonians for their support and their encouragement. And together, we go continue on this journey for Transform Freetown. Who did you say today? They don't value we Bembe. Any program meet that I happy, I feel so good. Where they invite we, they even go young ban, they respect we. I just one at this country. Me and they pray to God, these two people that were there, they now go protect and guide them. For the love where they show we that this country here, yeah. let God bless Yvonne, he bless her, he bless his family. See, let God bless her, he bless his family. But who, but who, anyway, they don't show we love when we today. Yvonne, he rest for we. After that, any program we're going to cancel, he must remember with the disabled there. Now, that's the one at this country. Freedom, freedom, now we are young. Get